Right guys, so we're playing Resident Evil Zero here. Um, this is going to be my first playthrough I'm doing for this for you guys. Um, I've done Leech Hunter already, I've got that up, some of you may have noticed that. But basically you can combine all these videos um, for a fast platinum. Um, I will be putting this up with no, with no commentary as well. So um, if you are watching this and you'd rather watch no commentary, then please just look for the no commentary version in my playlists. Um, but yeah, we're doing the first playthrough. It's going to be on normal. There's not really any easier way we can make this, unfortunately. There is an easy difficulty, but for platinum purposes, guys, we need to really start on normal. But to try and make hard easier later on, because hard is quite difficult in this game, because basically this is Resident Evil without an item box. Um, to make hard easier, we're going to be applying the hard tactics, the tactics we were using hard and the routine, we're going to be doing that in normal. So the benefits of that is that it's gonna going to, going to familiarise yourself with the hard tactics, so you'll it should prepare you for that a little bit. And the good thing here is it gives you a bit of briefing space to learn them tactics a bit better. So if you do make any mistakes with any of them, because some of them are a little bit tricky, and um, you've got breathing space here, so you can better learn them tactics. Um what we will be doing this for this playthrough, we'll be getting a lot of the, you'll be getting the majority of the trophies, probably here really, you'll get a lot of the mis miscellaneous trophies. Um, we'll be collecting all the collectibles, um, all the weapons that we can. You can't get the weapon trophy until a few playthroughs from now because there's, you know, certain weapons are unlocked be uh, behind certain uh, conditions you have to fulfill. Um, but we'll be doing as many weapons as we can here. We'll be collecting all the files and that. And yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be uh, playing this as if we are playing hard. Um, so yeah, we'll get into it, guys. Um, yeah, so new game. New game and normal. Yeah, there we go. New game, normal. I'll be skipping all cutscenes, and by the way, the timer, uh, I'll leave subtitles on, the timer, it will count down even when you're on the inventory, sc um, inventory screen, and it counts during cutscenes as well. Now, it doesn't really matter here, but later playthroughs, you might, um, there'll be a speedrun playthrough um, where you can't watch cutscenes, so if you want to watch them, watch them on this playthrough, guys. Um, and just one other thing, to stop the timer, you need to be on this screen that I'm on now, the paused screen on that screen the timer stops so um if you do want to stop the timer obviously it don't really matter now but on later playthroughs for speedruns make sure you're on that screen all right so begin we're going to just head left and come through this now it's going to be a small cutscene here straight away straight away aim um shoot the zombie here and then you need to kill that one in blue don't worry about the other one. Just that one in blue. Make sure blood comes from him. Like yeah, uh, he's dead. And then come through here. You don't need. If you hit that other one, you're just wasting bullets because he despawns anyway. When you exit that room and go back in, um, two new zombies spawn in. But that one in blue, he stays there. That's why we make sure we killed him. Um, I should just say, um, this Resident Evil is quite different from the others. Um, any damage you do to enemies. It doesn't reset when you move rooms. They that damage remains. So if you if a damage um, if a zombie takes ten damage to kill, for example, you shoot him six times, leave the room, come back in. You've only got to shoot him four more times. So yeah, it's quite different to past Resident Evil games. And um, I say past, it's quite an old one. Um, but it's quite different to a normal Resident Evil formula um, of the classics. Yeah. Damage will remain on this, and their position, their positioning when you leave a room will normally remain the same as well. When you go back in the room, they'll, the zombies will be back where they were um, when you last left that room. All right, so you've just gone through there, come through here. You've killed that zombie in blue. Reload your weapon because there's going to be some dogs jumping at you shortly. Come around here and interact with this dude to get the key from him. Another cutscene after, some dogs will appear. Now straight away, turn and run back up here so it gives you a better view of the dogs. And then just aim on the dogs and then shoot them when they appear. They should take about four shots. By the way, when you're aiming, I'm on PS4, when you're aiming, press L1 and it will change targets. But good thing is it also relocks onto targets as well. Yep, 
You know when they're dead because the music will stop. It's still. Wait, where, where, where is he? There is. Yeah, music will stop. Yeah, when you when you aim for the first time, you aim. Um, if the enemy moves from where you aimed, you you will not follow it. That's the thing about this one. Um, your aim will not follow the target. So you have to keep relocking. Yep. Yeah, right. So back in here, we've got that key. So back through here now. Now be quick. You can run straight through the end without any. If you quick. Because the zombies are between the seats and there's that zombie there on the right. If you're quick, you should be able to get through this door without any problems. Right, so in this room, try and stay to the right. And we want to try and get through We want to try and get through this room without any zombies um, spawning. So be quick. Uh, be quick. Yeah, keep to, the, keep to the right. Come to this door. Quickly open it and then enter. That's it. If you hear a zombie noise, and um, that means the zombies appeared, and when you come back through, they're going to be on your way, unfortunately. But if you can get out through that room without them zombies appearing, making a noise, then you can go through it again um, without having to worry about them. But yeah, normally if you just keep to the side, I'll just give you a compass direction. Yeah, so I, I kept to the south. If you want to keep to the south side of the chairs as you run through that room we just went through. Um, but if you hang around for too long, the zombies will moan, and then that indicates that they have appeared. All right. So you've took that file off the desk, of the well, not the desk, a little cabinet in the corner, and then come up these steps. Come over here for another cutscene. Don't bother fighting him. Just run back to the steps, and it and um, that kills him. Yeah, run back to the steps, and that will kill him. Billy will appear again. You'll get a file. Just so read that if you want or skip through it. Right, so now um, just open your inventory of square. PS4, remember. Um, now give all your ammo to Rebecca. So exchange. It may take you a while just get used to these menus, by the way. Um, but yeah, all give all the ammo to Rebecca. And you want to give all the weapons to Bill. Good old Bill. Give all the weapons to Billy. That's it. And Rebecca's just got the ammo. Then switch to switch back to Rebecca. You stay here. Yeah. Make sure it's solo. Yeah, leave Billy there. And head out this window. Up onto the train roof. Yes, Rebecca can walk along train roofs. So just head along this roof and um see up. Right, yeah, you have to sort of move into the middle of the carriage to get down here. Yeah, you're going to do something really intelligent now and touch them live cables. Yeah, so play with the live cables. Yeah, reconnect the cables. Good, always a good idea to touch live cables. That's it, you'll get lobbed down here. Turn around, grab this key from this little shelf. So grab that key, grab the ammo, grab the green herb, and I should say, don't use any herbs, guys, um, in this first train. You should get through without it on normal, and um, that's two first aid sprays, so try not to use the herbs, because there is a trophy connected to them, and I want to make sure I get you that. Um, so you call the service lift down, just interact with it, call it down, and you want to put the key inside. Place an item, yes, please. We'll put the key, yeah, the train key. Once you put the key in there, sent it up, um, uh, sent it down, even so switch to Billy. Once you Billy, um, make sure you got Rebecca's handgun equipped. You know what one it is because it will say stars. We say stars on it. You can just examine it. Yeah, stars. So make sure you equip the handgun that says stars. There we go. Don't reload it because once we have um, used all the bullets, we're going to leave it. Um, so hopefully you haven't reloaded it. Um, but if you have, or even if you haven't, just um, make a mental note of how many bullets you've got left. I've got six bullets left. Um, so when you use it again, just count how many bullets you have and then discard it afterwards. 
if you press it an extra time it will reload um, so try not to do that just count that many bullets so we've come here we've taken this key the train key that Rebecca sent down to us thank you Rebecca you just hold on there Gil I'll be back soon now we're coming back through here now because them uh, zombies didn't appear before we should be able to run straight through here without any problems but if they are in your way you're just going to have to knock them down don't bother killing them just knock them down and then run past so yeah, be quick. Yeah, so you can just get through. But if you heard the moan on the way through earlier, them zombies will be blocking your way. So you need to kill these zombies now. Just kill these. I think I can't remember. There's three or I think there's three here. Yeah, so just kill them all. Yep, yeah, um, you can't reload anyway, he's got no ammo, so than me. So once you've used all Rebecca's ammo, switch weapons back to Billy's and you start using that one. You should have enough ammo just to kill him. There we go, one more still, one more still going. If you do run out of ammo, um, Damn, completely missed there. Right. You can tell if any are dead if you just aim again. And if you don't aim onto nothing, then you know they're all dead. See, they're all dead now. So if you do run out of ammo, um, just get past and come through this room. Um, and we'll deal, we'll deal with them later on the way back. But try and kill them if you can. And come through here. So now we're going to go into this room. That's room 202202. There's another file in here. Um, but we'll grab the handgun ammo first. Grab the handgun ammo there. That's the one. Grab this file off this chair. Passenger's diary. And then exit the room. That's everything we need in there. Yeah, finally tailored suit. But let's just leave the room. So now, um, before you do anything else, um, inventory, uh, reload your weapon. And then drop drop your weapon and the ammo. Don't worry guys, this will make sense. This will make sense soon, don't worry. So once you drop them, make sure you drop them over there. Then come into this next room, room 201. There's going to be another file in here. And we're going to save the game. There is green herb, but like I say um, earlier, leave them for now. So we're going to leave that for Rebecca. Only Rebecca can combine herbs, by the way. So that's another file. Um, grab this ink ribbon. And come over to the typewriter and just make a save. It's going to be a boss shortly. And we're going to be killing it with a knife only. So make a save. Yeah, that might sound a bit daunting. Um, knife only. But trust me, this boss isn't really that difficult. And um, learning how to kill a knife only now will make your hard run much easier. So it will allow you to conserve a lot of ammo. So I've used it, um, used ink ribbon, then we've dropped it. Then exit the room. So yeah, make sure you drop the ink ribbon back in that room. Uh, equip the knife so we will need it soon. And come down here and um, you can unlock this door now. For that key you have, the train key. Yeah, discard it afterwards. Then enter. Enter the conductor's office. Yeah, the this boss... It, it stuns after each knife hit. So yeah, don't worry. That's what makes it easy. It's each knife hit will stun it so, for some reason. Yeah, so um, just press that light on the wall. Not light, that switch on the wall. That brings the ladder down. And grab the map. I completely missed the map then. I'll grab, it, I'll grab the map on the way back. But grab that map, guys, and then climb the ladder. Yeah, come down here. Yeah, small cutscene there. Well, we will need to do about five or six runs, by the way, guys. So it is quite a length, lengthy one um, to actually get the platinum. Um, but yeah, just come through here. Come through this door, 101. But this playthrough and the hard playthrough, probably the hardest ones apart from Leech Hunter. Because all the other playthroughs in between, we will be using um, bonus weapons and 
uh, and as such, so that make it quite fun as well. Uh, grab this first aid spray off the sink. Grab the handgun ammo from here. I know we don't have a handgun currently, but um, this will make sense in a second. Grab the shotgun shells. Yep, grab them. And grab the shotgun here. Now, um, there are ink ribbons there, guys. So if you do, um, I don't collect them, but if you do want to make more saves than what I am doing, um, there is an ink ribbon there. So just remember that. If you do want to make more saves than me, there is an ink ribbon there for you to collect. So once you're outside this room, open your inventory and drop the ammo you've just collected. Drop all that. That will give you two free slots. You've just got the shotgun, the knife and the um, first aid spray. Now come to, come back around here. Grab the ice pick off this little trolley. Little dinner trolley here. You can just see it shining there in the middle tray. Yep, now come in here. Now the boss gonna be a boss battle in a minute, guys. Now when this uh, when this begins, um just run over to Scorpion. It will sort of um it sort of stand back. And then just after that, that indicates it's gonna do like a charging attack. You wanna so you run up to it, it will sort of lean back, then run away after it's attacked, run back up to it and then just start knifing downwards. But um, you don't just repeatedly knife, you have to wait till it comes sort of close to you and then knife again. And you have to knife downwards each time. So you've got a save, so you can retry this guys if you want to. Um, so first just run to him, it'll do that, run back, once he's attacked run back up to him. No, he's attacking again. That's it. Now wait for him to come back to you, knife. Come back to you, knife. And just keep doing this, guys. The only difficult part is, is starting, is getting this started. Because, like I say, every time you go near him, he will sort of attack. So, um, you just run near him. He'll lean back, get ready to do an attack or different, uh, different attack. You just run away. Once he's done the attack, um, you can either run towards him or just stay where you are and wait for him to come to you. To be honest, if you just run away when he attacks, then stay where you are. Wait for him to come to you, that's probably a bit easier. Because he seems to attack every time you go near him. So he's not dead yet. He does do... He sometimes... He doesn't always do this. Yeah, he's doing an attack as well. He doesn't always do that. Um, sometimes you can just keep knifing all the way into he's dead. But sometimes he'll sort of get stunned like that half, halfway through. He's dead now. Now he's dead. And yeah, he, he does always attack you at the end. It's quite difficult to avoid. If you're quick, you can run away. If you have space. He's still not dead. He's still... Um, I've not I've not um, stunned him this much before. Yeah, you do. You, each knife sort of stuns him. But I mean the, the, the major stuns. Like that. He never really does that to me. So that's quite different. Um, so that, that's him dead, guys. Um, you did have a first aid spray to use. There you go if you needed to use it. So you're just knifing him. Um, you knife, wait for him to come to you. Knife, wait for him to come to you. Knife. Um, so now you've done that. We don't need the knife no more. Drop the knife. Um, keep the first aid spray for now. Uh, grab this. I can't remember what his name is. Yeah, panel opener. I can't remember the name of it. Grab that climb down the ladder. Killing that scorpion for the knife is a really good um, strategy to help conserve ammo on hard so you want to make sure if you struggled a bit with that and um, reload your save and just uh, try it a few times. Yeah so I'm grabbing this map, uh, map now. Damn I'll climb the ladder again. Oh, yeah. The controls are really awkward in this one. Really bloody awkward. So let's try again. Third time. I'm going to uh, collect this map. Third time. Lucky. Yeah, oh, there we go. Third time. Lucky. We've got a map. Um, so once you've got that, um, just come over to here to this screen. Open this sort of cupboard. And take the briefcase. Yeah, grab the briefcase from in there. Um, there's a file on the floor. Quite difficult to see. You see that file? You can just see it on the floor flashing. There's quite a lot of file, files on the floor. But you can just see that one flashing. There it is, just beneath the table. Grab this note from the conductor. And then exit the room, guys.
Now back outside, um, open your inventory, you're going to drop the first aid spray now. Yeah, just drop that. If you have almost danger, um, you want to use that, um, but it's completely up to you. Um, so now we're just going to drop the pistol from the floor that we dropped. Make sure you grab that and make sure it's full of ammo, but it should be anyway, you should have reloaded that. And then equip the shotgun. Um, now if you didn't kill every zombie in here before, but you damaged them, um, use your handgun to finish them off. Um, only use your shotgun on zombies that are full health, so basically new zombies that have appeared. If there's any zombies in there you didn't kill before, use your handgun to finish them off. As you see, they're all dead now, for now. Um, some zombies will respawn here later on. Um, so come through it. Now in here, there's going to be two new zombies. And because they've got full health, we're going to use a shotgun on them. So there's two of them. Um, go for headshots. Don't let them get too close. Um, like a lot of the early Resident Evil, well, I would say earlier. There's one more zombie, by the way. We'll just let them come into view. There we go. Problem with these camera angles, you can easily run into zombies that you can't even see, that you can't quite see yet. Damn, failed, <laughs> failed there. Shouldn't have much health left. Yeah, he's dead. Um, yeah, thing with a shotgun on this, if you let the zombies get too close, you'll hit them in the chest. They need to be, uh, I think that one's a little bit too far then. They're sort of a little sweet spot they have to get. They can't be too close, but not too far away. And then you hit them with a shotgun and that'll blow their head off. Um, Alright, so we're now back through here. Interrupt the um, lift again. And now you want to send the ice pick down to Rebecca. Send the ice pick down to Becky. Press a button here, well send it up, send it up to Becky. And then um, switch over to her. Take it out. There you go, and she starts to open the door. Thanks Billy. You're a cool guy. Right, so um, run over to the door, to the door open your ventry, um, select the ice pick and use it. There we go, the doorknob is unstuck. Now just quickly head down the stairs to avoid the zombies. And we're heading down to Billy now basically. Leave, leave Rebecca here, then switch to Billy. Come over here. Um, ask Billy, take the ammo, take the ammo from Rebecca. There we go. And then open this panel here. Yeah, you have to open your inventory and use it from the, there we go. Reload, um, before you go down, reload your weapon if you need to. And then head down there. Make sure you're solo so Rebecca don't go with you because there's two dogs in here um, so you only want one of you in here. Straight away aim and um, aim and then kill them. Yeah, these dogs are a bit of a nuisance. Yeah, bloody annoying to kill these dogs are. You know when they're dead because the music will stop. Right, that's it. Um, once you've got them, open this door. And then switch to Rebecca and bring her in. Bring her in. Do not um, do not walk back. Just come straight in this door. Yeah, now ask, um, ask Rebecca. Yeah, pick up the red can. Pick up the shotgun shells and the first aid spray. Then switch to Billy. That's Billy, head down here. 
and grab a shiny thing in the cage and dog cage. The gold ring. This way. Roger. Now with the gold ring, um, you want to combine that with a briefcase. There we go. Combine that briefcase. Then once done, uh, make sure you're a team and head through this door. Playthrough is much quicker, by the way, guys, once you've got bonus weapons. So it's only this playthrough and hard that's just going to be quite long. Um, out here, switch to Rebecca, interact with this little lever. Pull it. Once you've pulled it, she'll stay there automatically. Uh, switch back to Billy. Then ask Billy, grab this um, little the hook shot. Grab the hook shot from the side of the train that's now unlocked. Yeah, grab the hook shot. Yeah, another file there. Now, now call Rebecca back. Come on, Come on Rebecca. Let's do it. Yeah, now, once you're back in here, turn into, well, go solo. Uh, you want to be Billy solo. Yeah, I'll check it out, Becca. You wait there. Then come through this door. Make sure you're solo because the zombie's going to burst through here in a minute. And we don't want him to catch Rebecca. So once you're in, uh, just run straight down here. Through this door. Once it's opened and the am angle changes, turn around and then knock this zombie down. Let's finish him off. Is that him? No, still not dead. I think that's him. Yeah, he's dead. Once he's dead, switch to Rebecca and bring her in. Switch back to Billy when she's with you. Um, this way. Roger. Take her with you, uh, turn into a team and then go through this door. Now, if you just run straight through here, you should be able to get through without any problems. As long as you kill them two zombies from before, just run straight through, you should be able to get through without any problems. Now, there shouldn't be any zombies in here. Uh, once you've done that, um, so there shouldn't be no zombies in here. If there is, um, bring Rebecca up these steps, uh, take Rebecca up these steps, and then leave her at the top in the room above. But if you're where I am, no zombies, just leave her here. Um, Let's split up. So leave, leave her here, then interrupt this open window. Well, in fact, you need to open your inventory. Run to the open window, open your inventory, select the hook shot and use it. Yeah, it's a bit awkward. They, it should just let you um, interact the window, because then you know you're in the right place. But sometimes when you have to use your inventory, you're not quite stood in the right place. So now Billy's on the roof. Yeah, don't worry, Billy's not, Billy's not going to touch any wires. He's, he's got some sense. Yeah, once Billy's on the reef, you want to jump down this hole, down the crack, a big, very big crack, and then kill the zombie. Try and be quick so he doesn't get a chance to grab you. Probably want to shoot him when he's down as well. There's not much space here, so you might want to try and get rid of that zombie quick. Grab this um, jewelry box in the cupboard. Um... Yes, I'll, I needed to examine it, but it wouldn't let me examine in that window. So once you've got it, open your inventory again, click on the jewelry box and examine it. And open. You'll find another one of them rings. Silver ring. Um, now you want to combine this with a briefcase, which should unlock it. Then examine the briefcase once you've put both, both, uh, both rings inside. Then interact with it and you can open it. There we go, you'll find a little card, that huge briefcase with a little tiny blue key card. That's it. Don't worry about the knife, we don't need it. Once you've done, exit the room. Yeah, be a little cutscene. Yeah, 
Yeah. We're going to just run straight down here. Grab the handgun ammo. Grab the handgun ammo and then run in this door here. Hopefully you don't get any of these bloody little leeches jump on you. Once Billy's through, switch to Rebecca and then bring her through as well. But, but once we're Rebecca, so you want to go up these steps, there's going to be a green herb we're going to grab. So first grab this green herb. And just quickly head to where uh, Billy was. And we'll grab, our, we'll grab the shotgun shells as we pass them. So we'll grab them shotgun shells there that we dropped down earlier. They're actually in that room just on the right there. Damn, almost got through. They they caught both of us just right near the bloody door. Alright, so the old gang's here now. Come on. Come on, Billy. Yeah, take Billy with you. And uh, climb down a ladder. Now, um, grab this green herb here. That's Rebecca. Then open your inventory. And you want to combine all three herbs. So you're going to have two greens. And then you're going to have three greens. There we go. So you've combined them. That's a trophy for doing all the different combinations, by the way, of herbs. Um, then grab this red one. Then switch to Billy. Make sure your team and uh, leave the room. Come down here. Grab the ammo. The ammo that we dropped earlier. Make sure Billy's reloaded his gun. And then come in this room here. Back uh, back at the safe room. This will be the last save by the way guys. That we'll be making on the train. Um, once you're in here switch to Rebecca. Uh, grab that green herb. Uh, select to use and you want to combine that uh, with that so that's a you've got a you've done you've done a green green you, uh, green 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 and you've done a green red once you've done that pick up the ink ribbon and save your game once more You've got 20 save slots, so you may want to uh, save each time on a different slot if you want to. And um, I've over I've overwrited my previous slot, but yeah, you can save on each slot if you want to. Once you've done that, switch back to Billy. And um, let's just check our our loadout now. Give the hook shot to Rebecca. Um, we got space. Yeah, so half Rebecca, half of Rebecca drop the ink ribbon, you don't need that no more. And then give, um, take uh, one of the healing items from Rebecca and give it to Billy. And then, and then give the hook shot to Rebecca. There we go, give that to Rebecca. I actually forgot some in a previous room. Damn, I did actually. But... Um, it doesn't worry, we'll, we will be passing back through there soon and we'll grab it then. So, um, over here, there's a first aid spray there. Yeah, grab the first aid spray, it's Billy. This one that we left it early on. You may have used this, by the way, um, you may have used it on the Scorpion, but if not, you would have left it here and we will grab it. So, grab that and then come over to this panel on the wall. And once you're near it, you need to press square and you need to use the blue key card. Yeah, you need to make sure you're in the right place. There we are. Yeah, use a blue key card on that, then you can discard it. And then head through onto the um, outside carriage. Yeah, we're almost on 40 minutes already. Takes a long time this game does. Thank God it's much better with the um, bonus weapons. 
The only problem is you have to do this again on hard, by the way, for platinum. That's the only bad thing about this. You have to do it again on hard, all that. Alright, so here we are. We're in the control room. You want pick Rebecca to stay behind. Important. Make sure you pick Rebecca to stay behind. Now, once you gain control, yes, timer. So, um, yeah, time is important here. Don't take too long. Uh, grab this ammo. There's some ammo just under there. You can see it flashing. See it flashing just in the corner beneath that cabinet. You can see it. Grab that ammo down there. So that's one. And there's one more handgun ammo in this corner here. Grab that. And grab this flashing key card on the middle here. The magnetic card. Grab that. Now, um, we're just going to shut our inventory out. Yeah, make sure we've got one slot free. In fact, we don't need to do that. Take the um, gas tank from Rebecca. Um, give her first aid spray. Just make sure you've got a, a slot free just in case. Make sure you've got a first aid spray and the tank and the ammo and the ma uh, magnetic card. So once ready... Damn camera angles. Yeah, exit the room. Now, you need to be quick here. As long as you're quick, these zombies will not animate in time. You should be able to avoid them. So, yeah, run straight through here, guys. Run straight through quickly. If you're quick, you can get through here before the zombies stand up. Um, now, there's a zombie in this room at the end now. But to avoid it, we're going to take a little, a little detour by going through here. Doing this, it's going to help you avoid about four zombies because there's one in that corridor we were just in where the dogs appeared and there's three more in the next carriage I think three or two three or two more that have appeared in the next carriage so going up this way it's a little bit longer but it allows you to completely avoid them zombies and so you save a lot of ammo so yeah back through the scorpion room or well, the bar it's a bar isn't it the lounge area eclipse was that eclipse express a clipping. So leeches are in this corridor. Just run straight through. Hopefully, don't none of them jump on you. And down these steps, we've avoided about four zombies there. Through this room. Now it's going to be a few zombies here. Yeah, so just kill these. Should be one more in this way. Oh, he's still going. He's a tough cookie. You know, ah, he doesn't get up until you run past him. There we go, there's two zombies. Um, you don't have to kill the last one. Because you're, you're not coming back in this room. So basically you just need to get by. You're not coming back in this room. You just need to get by. So once you're back through um, into the kitchen. And where that zombie burst from, there's a bottle in the, sort of in the fridge. That's what I meant to get earlier on. So grab that. And once you've grabbed it, open your inventory. And combine that with the gas tank. To make three Molotovs. Come through here. Still got two minutes left, and we did save it, so we're good for time. Yeah, come over to this um, this panel in the corner, and you need to use a magnetic card on this. Yeah, you've got to get the right. You've got to be, make sure you stand in the right place to use it. Yeah, I am now. All right, so basically, you've got to input some codes here, and they have to. They can't exceed that number or go below it. They have to match that number on the right. So there's three numbers it can be. I'm going to be telling you as quick, by the way, because I'm running out of time. 
Oh, in fact, I could pause it. If it's 36, then you need to go, you need to um, choose three nine times and then a nine on the end. So if it's 36, it's going to be three, 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 uh, three, 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 and then nine. That's ten, 10 numbers you have to choose. So 36, it'll be nine threes and then a nine. If it's 67, that's going to be nine sevens and then a four. And if it's 81, it's going to be nine eights and then a nine. Well, to make it easier, um, 36, one nine, then three all the way. 67, one four, then seven all the way. 81, it'll be nine and then eight all the way. So we've got 81 here. So I'm going to go nine and then just eight. That's it. Skip the cutscene after that, you'll go back to Rebecca. And Rebecca in front of the panel next to her. Now you can't see where you are now. Um, so I'm just going to repeat them numbers to you guys. So 36, you want to choose 9 and then 3 all the way. So 9 and then the rest of 3s. 67 wants to be 4 and then the rest are 7s. And if it's 81, it wants to be 9 and then the rest are 8s. Alright, so we've got 36, so I'm going to choose a 9. And then the rest is going to be 3. That's it guys, pretty simple. That puzzle can be a bit of a pain in the ass if you don't know what to do there, but um, it's not too bad. So straight after this cutscene, straight after this begins, um, open your inventory. Now this is just, um, it's easy to do it this way. Open your inventory. If you try and do this um, without, you might get muddled up or Billy might waste ammo like he's about to do. Um, so, what we um, choose your partner and put them both on idle. So Billy's on idle, and make sure um, Rebecca's on idle as well. But what that means basically is when your teammate will not use ammo when they're beside you. Um, so once you've done that, um, make sure your team select your team in the menu, and then switch to Billy. And now basically we're just heading head straight out here, over here and through this door here. Let's just show you on the map so um, you can see where we are. Basically we started just in the centre and to the east. You just want to head straight to the door to the south, southwest, and head through it. You need to be quick because the zombies, as you can see, the zombies are getting ready to um, attack you. They're just standing up. So if, as long as you're quick, you're quick, you know, you, you move out of that room quick, you should be safe guys shouldn't have any problems so yeah come in this um, nice the nice clean water here in the sewer climb out the other end and then climb that ladder always a sewer in Resident Evil games so now you're sort of in the mansion a slightly different layout to Resident Evil 1 it's not the same mansion um, so once you gain control, head up these steps around the corner here. We're on the top. We're on the um, second floor. We're on the second floor here, and we're on the west west side near the west door. Um, just before you enter this room, uh, make sure Billy's got one free slot. Make sure he's got one free slot. Make sure you're solo. Let's split up. So leave Rebecca there, and then come through this room. Now. When you pick up the uh, crank handle here, a load of crows are going to burst through and start attacking you. So we'll leave that last. So first head over to this table and grab this note from a little from a desk, from a table. A notice to all staff, grab that. And then come over here. Now once you grab that, like I say, a load of crows are going to spawn in. So straight away, head left to the door and exit the room before you get a chance to attack you. So quickly grab it. Quickly head left and exit quickly. And they shouldn't get any damage on you. As long as you're quick. Now as a team, take Rebecca and go into the no north door. Second floor, north door. I'm getting stuck on something. Oh, that little pillar. Right. So we're in the conference room now. So now drop any healing items we have. Um, drop any healing items. Drop the Molotovs as well. Drop them. 
Yeah, switch to Rebecca. Yeah, all healing items. We've got quite a lot of healing items there, haven't we? So yeah, drop them all. There we go. We will be dropping the hook shot soon, uh, not just yet. Yeah, make sure you uh, sw yeah, switch to Billy. And then come up here on the, um, I think it's the east side of the room. Have Rebecca grab them shotgun shells in the corner. Have her grab them. Then grab the ink ribbons and save your game. That's the train done, guys. The train. Uh, grab the ink ribbon, save your game. Right, so now we'll drop that ink ribbon. Just save the game. Don't need it again for now. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, so drop that ink ribbon. Bring Rebecca with you. Yeah. Come on, come on, Becky. You're going to be a team now. Basically, we're going to head into this door now. And we need to be quick in here. We need to be very quick. Um, so, through the door. Straight away, just follow the path and enter the double doors you reach. Try to be quick and you should avoid the zombie. This zombie here. Quick, through the door. That's it. As long as you're quick, you should avoid them zombies. Now grab the map off the desk. Yeah, grab that map. Yeah, training facility map. And come, come around here. Now split up, split up. turn gotcha. to Rebecca, place her on the lift, and this Billy come round here. Uh, you want to make sure Rebecca's got the um, hook shot. I think she has. I think I gave it to her. Yes, I did. Make sure she's got the hook shot, and then switch to Billy. And we're going. Billy's going to use some mechanism here. So interact with this. You'll need to use your um, crank handle. Let's use the crank handle. Oh, bloody hell. Got to make sure I'm in the right place now. There we go. Yeah. Make sure Billy's... Oh, my God. <laughs> make sure Billy's got a handgun and the bullets, of course. No, hopefully I'm in the right place now. There we go. Yeah, use the crank handle on, on that. Make sure Rebecca stood on it. And once you've used it, um, use the lift and that will send Rebecca up. Now it's Rebecca, quickly exit, turn left, grab the handgun ammo off the corner of this uh, table, then quickly run up here onto your steps. That's it, you're safe now, the cockroaches cannot get you up here. So you just want to be quick, leave the lift, grab the handgun apo, uh, ammo, apo, ammo, then come up here. Now we're going to enter this door. Now it's a green and red herb in here. Um, if you need them, you could get them now and use them. Um, Be honest, uh, just take them now. Take the green herb now. Grab that. Save you coming back and try and get them later on. And grab the red herb as well. So red herb just round here in the corner. Get off me. There it is. Difficult to see this red herb. It's annoying. So it's just here. You can't see it. It's like hidden. There it is. Yes, yeah, so that's a red herb. Uh, grab them and head up here and head th straight through this door. Try to be quick and um, hopefully the crows, the crows won't catch you. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> sorry guys, sorry. <laughs> Alright, so um, this large room now, there'll be a boss we'll be fighting here later on by the way. Head up to this um, door for two knights. And now you want to drop the hook shot here. Yeah, drop it here. Basically, this is where we'll come through um, later on when we leave this area. And we'll, we need to set a hookshot with us. But if we leave it there, that's the best place to put it. Now, come down these steps. And now, drop them herbs here. 
drop them here. Um, so if we do need them later, they're easy to uh, get to. Now switch to Billy. And now we're going to exit this room. We're basically going to head back to the conference room. But we need to we need to be quick because some zombies in here. Hopefully you won't have to knock too many down. But if any are in your way, just knock them down. Don't bother killing them. Just knock them down so you can get past. Yeah. Well, or maybe I can just uh, I could just get by him. If I've got a back to you, you can sometimes just run straight past them. So you may want to just try and run straight past him. Because if he if I'd stopped to shoot him, then other zombies might have caught me up. So once you're through there, um, through this door. But yeah, loads of health items there. <clears throat> In fact, just take them, um, take the Molotovs with you guys. You can use them on the boss. We'll get more later, um, but we'll use these on the boss. These, there's some Molotovs that we dropped. Yeah, grab them. Later on, when we have to leave the mansion, you don't really have any space for Molotovs. Um, so any any that you do create now, you're not really going to have any space to actually take them with you. So um, yeah, we're just going to use them up. So come in, up, come in over here now. I'm going through this door. We need Rebecca to open the door for us. So switch to Rebecca, and just unlock the door. There we go. Back to Billy, and then come through. Right, now make sure you're solo, um, just grab that handgun ammo from Rebecca. Right, yeah, make sure you're solo. Now when we go through here, there's going to be two cockroaches, you need to quickly kill them. They may, get one, they may get one or two hits on you, but if you try and be quick, and hopefully they will not do any damage. Just quickly begin shooting, just aim, hold X. Yeah, he got me there. You could even try and run past them if you want. Yeah. So you can just run past them. Probably best just to attack them when they get close. Just run past. Uh, reload on your inventory screen so it saves time. Doesn't leave you um, vulnerable then. Uh, sorry, it doesn't leave you open to attack. Right, so once you kill them, uh, grab a grenade, a grenade launcher. And grab this white statue over here. Leave that shotgun ammo, we'll get that later. Then uh, exit the room, of course. We'll just take Rebecca back in there, we'll gather them shotgun shells, just in case we do need them. I can't remember what we're like for ammo. We do have plenty of ammo left at the end of the game, but... Um... Yeah, let's grab that uh, shotgun ammo, guys. You see, probably see Billy's getting a little bit low on health. I'll probably just hold on until, um, until we go back into conference later and I'll use the first aid spray. Because there's still some herbs we need to craft, by the way, guys, for the um, combine all types of herbs trophy. So all these steps, bring Rebecca with you. Come on, Roger. Head over here. Now, yeah, make sure Billy's got the grenade launcher and three Molotovs. Now have Billy intro of this. Yeah, it's a second crank from the left. Let Billy interact with it. He'll start it up, and that should open a little. Um, yeah, should pull that cage up with really a key. Once you've done that, switch to Rebecca while he's on it. Just leave him there, and then climb this climb this ladder here. You climb this ladder, then grab a key. Where is it? There it is. It's shiny and on the floor. Yep, 
Yeah, boss now. Right, you'll you've took um you'll have control of Billy now, you're gonna switch to the Molotovs. Ah, don't worry, Becca, we'll save you. Yeah, switch to the Molotovs. You wanna hit this boss on its belly. So we'll make sure you round the front. I think Millie can Billy completely missed with that Molotov, didn't he? Useless. Fine with Molotovs, you actually have to aim it. Sort of. Alright. They were a complete waste of time. <laughs> Alright, so once you're done, um, just shoot his belly with a grenade launcher. Billy's missing with everything here. Yeah, just make sure you shoot its belly. There we go. Once you've used all your grenade shells, damn, getting close. Should have bought some um, health items for me. Yeah, use your handgun. Yeah, it's not too difficult to kill guys, that boss. It's not too difficult. Yeah, using the Molotov's a complete waste of time. Yeah, you've got that trophy now. Uh, one thing you need to do. Um, the hook shot. Leave, uh, sorry, not the hook shot, the grenade launcher. Leave that by the door where you left the hook shots. You don't need that anymore for now, but we will need it later. So drop that by the door where you used to um, where you drop the hook shot. So we've got hook shot and grenade launcher by the door now. Billy, idiot, go down them steps. So down the steps now and going back to the main lobby area. Yeah, head back through as a team. If you need to heal, um, just come back in here, grab one of your healing items that you had before. Or you could use that green and red herb that we um, left in that room we, we were just in. Um, so I'm just going to grab a first aid spray. I'm going to try. There we go, Billy's fully healed now. So going back to the, we're going down to the first floor now. we're going to make a save as well well I'm not going to bother saving guys but um, there's an ink ribbon here, ink ribbon there uh, grab that handgun ammo of course yes yeah, so there's an ink ribbon there, save your game and then uh, that red and green herb, leave them there so we're going to need them for later alright so let's just make sure we've got everything we need um, give the right statue to Rebecca uh, make sure you've got the the key and the handgun ammo and the handgun. Um, make sure we reload it. I've only got five bullets left. Let's reload. And make sure you're solo. And then come through this door. Okay. Now we need to kill. There's four zombies in here we need to kill. Um, one. Well, three you can see. And there's one that's going to come from the south. It's difficult to see. Oh, I'm going to run into him here. There we are. I thought that's gonna happen. Yeah, four zombies here. You need to kill. I've no idea where they all are. Thank God they don't have a double lunge like on um oh bugger like a Resident Evil 2 remake. Oh, I'm not even aiming. Yeah, 
normally when you first come in that um that zombie doesn't normally come to you as quick as what he did for me then right i think that's all of them yeah right that's all of them um i think he's a bit more ammo than what i wanted to use there right so once you've done that bring rebecca in switch to her and uh bring her in Right, switch to Billy. Take Rebecca with you. And then you want to enter this door here. Head over here. Now, come to here. There's going to be three zombies in here. You can leave Rebecca outside if you want to while you kill them. But it's not too difficult. Um, so I'm just going to bring her with me. They're, so, they're well spaced out. So you can normally get rid of one before the next one comes. Yeah, there's an another one. Yeah, they're, they're well spaced out here, so you can... You don't have to worry about shooting three at once. There should be one more. There he is. Is that all? No, one's to, one's to the life. Yeah, that's it. That's them. Right, so you grab a shotgun. Gas tank. And Billy's full up now, so I have Rebecca grab the back statue. Now we'll he head out back into the corridor. Alright, let's just make sure we um, got everything we want, want right now. Um, now Billy wants a shotgun now and the shotgun shells. Um, so give a handgun and the handgun ammo to Rebecca. Leave her with the statues as well. Make sure Billy's got them equipped. Make sure Rebecca has not got the handgun equipped and make sure she's set to idle as well. Right, once that's all done, head back into the dining room. Stay away from that zombie that's crouched down over there. Now come over here, use the facility key and then enter. Now it should be lighter, lighter fluid here. There it is. Uh, grab that lighter fluid and combine it with the lighter. So uh, combine and use that with your personal lighter. There we go. Uh, grab these uh, bottles down here as well. Grab them. And combine them with a the gas tank. There we go. Now back into the dining room. <clears throat> yeah, now head back to the main lobby. Back in here, you want to drop the drop the gas tank. Yeah, leave that and uh, leave the Molotov. Now head up here and then into back into the conference room. So Billy's got a shotgun and shotgun shells. Now leave Rebecca here. We're going to come in solo. A 
Right, what we're going to do in here, we're going to, to we're going to blast a zombie's leg off, and then we're going to kill the rest. So wait for the first one coming at you. Aim down, blow his leg off, and then kill the rest with headshots. I mean, yeah, there's not much space here, so let let him get close. Blow his leg off. There we go. I should make you a trophy. Then kill the rest with headshots. Remember, don't let them get too close, and you should um, kill them with one headshot. It's one more. There we are. Now we need to go to the door at the far end. Use the facility, use that key on it that we've got, and you can discard it now. So yeah, throw it away. Yeah, now we want to actually push this table. It's a bit awkward because Billy will keep trying to uh, climb on it. No, no, Billy. Yeah, just walk into it. I think I was, I was pressing X there by mistake. Just keep pushing it. Um, when the camera changes, just before you push it all the way to the end, well, push it all the way to the end. Like so, and then climb over it and press a switch on the wall. Press that little switch on the wall in the corner. Flip it. There we go. Now push this over here, beneath the um, yeah, it's a stuffed head above you. Uh, is it reindeer's head? Climb on that. Climb on the table, and now grab the iron needle from along. It's in its antlers. Yeah, grab them. Now climb down. Grab the shotgun ammo. Uh, shotgun ammo. Yeah, some uh, more bullets there. More shells. And grab this file here. Yeah, grab this file. Assistant director's diary. And then exit the room. There's some handgun ammo here as well. It's quite difficult to see. Just where I am now. Now my gun is my gun is just going right above it. That my barrel at the end is right above it. You can just see it flashing. Grab that hand grenade ammo. We'll give that to Rebecca later. Then exit the room. Now we're going to bring Rebecca in. So switch to Rebecca and uh, bring her in. Make sure your team open your inventory. Give Rebecca the iron needle. Uh, give that to her, and also give her the handgun ammo. There we go. Then enter the double doors. We're in this room early. You probably remember. Yeah, come come in here. Now have Rebecca grab that flash and microfilm on there. Have Rebecca grab it. And have uh, Billy use this lighter on this candle. And that will open the door. Yeah, use his lighter on the candle. There we go. That unlocks the door. Now make sure you're solo. So go alone, leave Rebecca here. She'll be safe. She's got a little candle there. Now there's two zombies in there we need to kill. So kill the two zombies. Oh, I'll wait for him to get up. There we go, yeah, kill them two. Once done, grab a uh, grenade rounds and uh, and bring Rebecca in.
Now ask Rebecca, climb up uh, onto this upper deck, upper floor bit, climb up here, come over to this bookshelf and try to push it, ask Rebecca. Once you try to push it, a trophy should pop shortly after, there we go. Uh, switch to Billy, then bring Billy up. Let the men do it, the real men. Now Billy's going to push a bookshelf. We are grab the book from inside this pillar, you can just see it hidden in there. Grab out the book of good. Now open your inventory, um, examine the book of good, you should find something inside. It's elegant, an elegant book. Yeah, you find the white wings inside. Uh, now you want to combine them. You'll have to take the white, take that from Rebecca, and then combine it with the white, uh, with the white statue. There we go. Give it back to Becky, and then we'll exit the room as a team. This, this way. way. Roger. Just reload. Yep. Locked and loaded. Yeah, exit the room. That's a team. Now we're heading back to the main lobby now. Should have got a grenade around yet. Once you're on the second floor of the main lobby, um, switch to whoever has a statue, and then you want to place a statue on these scales. So open your inventory, statue, and use it. There you go, place that on the scales like so. Switch, switch back to Billy. Now you want to head into the northeast room. That's this room here. Now leave Rebecca down here. I'll go alone. Okay. Leave her down there. Make sure Billy's got two free slots. He has to make sure he's got grenade the grenade ammo. He needs the um he does need the iron needle as well. We're gonna get that in a second. Um so as Billy, pick up the grenade launcher. We'll try and pick it up. And you want to combine the grenade ammo with it, get rid of that, that's it, and then drop it again. Now make sure Billy's got the iron needle, there we go, and head back up, um, you basically need to head past Back to where Rebecca was when she went up that little lift. And we're going to pay, place the eye needle on the clock. So I'm back through this door into the little terrace where the crows were. Crow terrace. Be quick here, just head down south. It's not, I don't think it's south, but on the screen, at, at the screen at that moment in time, that was south. Now we need to kill these two cockroaches now. They can't get up here, remember, so um let them come to you. You get their attention first. Yeah, come up here. You little one, little bugger. Alright. Fuck you. Fuck you. 
Right, so we kill them. Now interact with this grandfather clock. Um, you need to actually use use the eye needle on it. It doesn't prompt you to use it. You have to select it from your inventory. So um, set the eye needle. Place the eye needle on it. And now you need to set the time to 8.15. So minute hand wants to go to uh, 3. Now you want to select our hand. Now it wants to go left to 8. Once you've done that, just press OK. And if you're done right, you'll hear this little chime, clock chime, and that will unlock these doors. Unlock that door. And it's unlocked that door. All right, so now we're heading back to um, back through Crow Terrace and back into the cage room where we fought that boss, that huge centipede. Now back in here, uh, switch to Rebecca. This just this just saves a minute. Switch to Rebecca. Call Billy down as a team and then enter this door. That just it just saves a minute that does. That's all that that's all that is. And back in the main lobby, switch to Billy. And head down here. Now this door's unlocked. Go in solo and then enter this door. Now there's four zombies here, but you only need to kill three. Uh, grab that file off the desk first. There we go. Wait for some zombies to come. Headshots, yeah. That's one. There's four. Remember, there is four zombies, like I said, but you only need to kill three because you can bait. You can bait the last one around the table. There we go. So that last one, I'm just going to leave him. I'm just going to bait him around the table. Save, it will save, save a, a shell. Now you want to grab this microfilm from a fireplace. And now where is he? Make sure you're not going to run into him. Let's just aim to see where he is. Oh, he's just over there. And then grab the shotgun shells from this corner. Oh, he's going back that way now. Now I'm just going to head out now. Head back and head out. There we go. I'll reload. Right, now we're heading back to the bottom floor. This way, this Becca. Okay. Make a save now as well. So I'm just around this corner here. Uh, grab the ink ribbon and we'll make a save. Right, we're going to this next room solo, but Billy needs two free slots. So I'm just going to look at our inventory. Yeah, we'll drop the ink ribbon. We don't want that, of course. Um, make sure Billy's got both microfilms. And we need two free slots. So make sure I'm going to give a shotgun shells to Rebecca for now, so we don't need them anyway. So Billy wants these two films, and he wants two free shots at least. Make sure you're solo. And then come through okay. this door. First of all, um, going to this first door here that you come to. Now you need to be quick here. We're going to grab a green herb and a gas tank, and then we're going to quickly leave and exit. You need to be quick while this enemy is transforming. That we're going to see in a second. Yeah, grab these two. Gra uh, gas tank and the green herb. Yeah, be quick before he's transformed and exit. There we go. He should be he should be okay. And then 
and run straight to the end of this corridor and into this room here. Now be quick in here, some zombies in here, but as long as you're quick they shouldn't reach you in time. There's, there is a herb at the end but we're just going to ignore it so we don't have to kill the zombies. So I said down it, and you see this little projector um, interact with it. Well, press square, open your inventory, and use the microfilms. That's one. And then, once you've used one, you can actually click insert, and you can insert the next. Yeah, it's a little puzzle here, by the way, but... Um, you don't need to worry, so I'm going to tell you the answer later. You'll get this disc once you put both films in. Take the disc, the MO disc. Yeah, once you'll get a file as well. Once you've got a disc, just exit the room. Now again, we need to be quick because there's another leech zombie here. So as long as we're quick and get back to the main lobby quick enough, should be okay. So quickly just head back to the end door, which leads back to the main lobby. There we go. Head over here to Rebecca. Now you can drop the gas tank. Um, to be honest, the safest base. Um, grab this gas that's, uh, gas tank here. No, not the Molotovs. Yeah, you can combine it there. So um, and then drop it. All that's doing, it's just because um, you'll be dropping quite a lot of items here. You can only drop so many items in a room. That was a safe bit of space, that's all. Uh, drop the herb as well. Take the shotgun shells back from Rebecca. She's going to need them soon. There we go. Now as a team, head up, regroup, and okay. head into the top door. Now head here and head into this first and second desk on the right and there's a file there. Grab that file, the um, regulations for uh, trainees. Get out of my way, Becca. Once you've done that, head up to the stage. Oh, bloody camera angles. You head up to the stage. Interact with the um, altar at the front. And you need to use that MO disc that we've got. So. Open Billy's inventory and use the MO disc. You'll get a code OA. So remember that code OA. It's random by the way, it'll always be different. So just remember what code you've got. Mine's OA. Once you've done that, open your inventory. No, I need to get away from this. Yeah. Open your inventory. Um, go into files. And you're going to click on microfilm image. Now you need to look and just see where the C. So I've got OA. So I need to press a top left desk and a desk in the bottom right corner at the same time. So whatever desk you've got, you, two desks you've got. Basically, what you've got to do, whatever two you've got, and um, put each character at one of them. Press the first number or digit, the first uh, digit or letter first, and then switch to the character and then press the other one. So I've got OA. So there's O, I'm gonna leave Billy there. I'll check it out. Roger. Go solo, then switch to Rebecca. Oh, I'll push Billy out of the way then. Yeah. So that's O and A. This one's A here, I believe. Yeah, there's A. Alright, so switch to Billy. X. Switch to Rebecca. X. Yep, yeah, that should have done it. Let's open, unlock some more doors. There we go. Take Billy. Uh, change into Billy now. Make sure your team. And now we're going to enter this door here. Now 
Now some zombies need to kill here, so make sure Rebecca's behind you. Just be careful because when you change camera angle you might walk straight into a zombie. There's one. I've no, I think I'm going to run into a zombie there, so I'm just going to wait. If you don't know, by the way, you can change, you can change your, you can control your second character with the, ana the um, with the right analog stick. So yeah, um, that's Rebecca. Uh, sorry, both zombies killed. Now you want to enter the central double doors. That's a team. Now switch to Rebecca, grab a handgun ammo first. There we go. Now make sure you're solo because your teammate will get in the way. And what we need to do, you need to push this piece down here. Yeah, push that piece down. Push it down three. There we go. Once you push it down three, come run, come round to it from the left. And push it right once so it's against the end. And then push it up. There we go. That should open a secret compartment on the desk. Yeah, make your way around to the desk. Grab the book of evil from inside it. You should get a file as well. Yeah, something more here. Yeah, there we go. Marcus's diary one. And grab the napalm round from over here as well. There's mink ribbons there, but we don't need them. But if you do, if you are saving quite a lot, just um, remember some mink ribbons in this room if you need them. Um, all right. So now we can uh, examine this book, and you'll find the black. Well, you'll find. One black, one black ring in here. Wing. Now you want to take black statue from Rebecca. Combine the wing with it. There we go. That's a black statue complete. Now exit the room. Make sure you're a team. I'm not a team. Sorry, Rebecca. I left you in there. So it wasn't intentional. Yeah, make sure make sure you leave there as a team. Now make sure you're solo. Billy's got a shotgun, and then come into this room here. Now it's going to be a few zombies near. We're going to kill them as Billy first. That's one. Bloody hell, you pushed me forward then. That <laughs> the zombie pushed me forward. Once you've killed them both, um, change to Rebecca and bring bring her in. Now grab the file on the bed. You can just see it there on the bed flashing. Sort of. Grab that. And how many slots have Rebecca got? Yeah, grab both the uh, both the blue herbs. Grab them both. Grab the first aid spray. I think uh, Rebecca still got space. And once you've done that, um, have Rebecca come over to this like green, this green um, tank over here. Have her interact with it. Have her put it in the mixing set, the green chemical. So now, it's, once it's in the mixing set, open her inventory, um, highlight this, and select use. That will net you a trophy. Once you've done that, now this is very important. Interact with the green tank again, and put it, put the green chemical in your personal uh, mixing set again yes that's it very important you put it in there again but don't use it this time just leave the green chemical 
in your mixing set very important right so once you've done that switch back to Billy and uh, make sure you're a team and then exit the room Roger. now you're gonna head back to a conference room now there we go Now, if you want, save your game in here, in here if you wish, or in the main floor, it's up to you. I'm not going to save, but if you guys want to, yeah, save your game now, or in the main floor lobby, on the first floor, it's up to you. So now I'm going to put the black statue on the scales, that should unlock a door below. In fact, let's give Rebecca them napalm rounds. Alright, so Billy's not stood in the right place, what's the price? Yep. Put the black the black statue on there. That's it, we've done that. Uh just one thing I should have done. So we've got that green and red herb mix in here. And if you've not got this one, there's one on the first floor uh, main lobby as well. So grab this, have Rebecca grab it. The red green mix here. I try and grab it. Yeah, grab that. And we're actually going to combine it for the blue mix. There you go, that should have been combined. Yeah, so that's another mix out of the way. So, so far we've done a green green, we've done a green green green, we've done a green and a red, and we've done a green red blue. Now make sure you're Billy. Basically we're going to be heading into the base uh, basement down here now. Um, but you may get poisoned, um, so you want to make sure Rebecca's got a blue herb, a blue herb with her just in case. And this Rebecca, um, drop the napalm round, drop them. Wrong button, wrong button. Yeah, leave them. Uh, leave the first aid spray and leave these. We don't need them right now, so just make sure she's got the handgun, handgun ammo. The blue herb and Billy's got a shotgun and shotgun ammo. I'm just going to reload Billy. Right, make sure you're solo. I'll go and on. then head down, down here. Now, you need to be quick here. If you're quick, you shouldn't get poisoned. Just quickly run straight to the end. Straight to the end. And hopefully you don't get poisoned. There we go. Just straight to the end. Now it's a file on the desk there. You can just see that file. Grab that. Yep. So once you're done in here, switch to Rebecca. Now bring Rebecca down these steps. Now as soon as Rebecca's done, just to save her having to run past the spiders, quickly switch to Billy, exit this room, call Rebecca as a team and then re-enter the room. Regroup, Let's that's regroup. it, and back in there. And that should save her having to run past all the spiders. Now once you're both in here, head into this room, into the cell area. Head around, the, head around to the far corner. You see this um, open vent in the wall. Um, interact with it, and you'll be asked to boost up Rebecca. And choose to give her a boost.
Yeah, Rebecca's in here now. Um, now there's a file we want to get first. There it is. Get that file just down there on the floor. Power regulator. Then head over here to this um, panel. Power supply. Now, there's a little combination we have to do here. Adjust the panel. And now you want to do up one. Uh, you want up. Up. Down. And then up up so it's, so it's up up down up 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 down up up there we go now another small cutscene them doors are unlocked now well, it's another small cutscene we have to get through and um, straight away after a cutscene uh, switch to a uh, switch back to Billy well, I think you have to anyway. There's no choice about it. It just doesn't. Yeah, Rebecca's trapped down there. Switch back to Billy now. Whoa. <laughs> I am Billy. What the fuck am I talking about? So now, in this room, there's a monkey, but just be quick, quickly run to the room at the end. And it shouldn't hit you. Quickly exit, that's it. Now we want to edit, um, edit. we want to enter the central door in this corridor. Be quick to avoid the spiders, you shouldn't get poisoned. Yeah, straight in here, the monitor room, there we go. Yeah, wet that zombie kill up. Kill him. That's it. Now let's one on the floor grab you. And just rotate the analog stick and press X. You stomp on his head and you'll get a trophy. Now grab these shotgun sh uh, shells over here. Grab all the handgun ammo. Loads of handgun ammo here. Grab all that. Yeah, reload. Now exit this room. Now we need to head back up to the main lobby. So again, quickly move straight through this area to avoid the spiders. Hopefully we won't get poisoned. There we go, straight up the steps. Now drop the handgun ammo. Yep, then head down to the first floor and enter the east door. Hold your horses, Beck, I'm coming. Really help! I'm coming, I'm on my way. There's a back in here, now head through this far door over here. Yeah, he's going to get up now and kill him because he's going to be in your way later otherwise. There we go. Easy kill. Headshot to the head. Now he's just going to head, head through here now to the door at the end. Make sure you're reloaded. So it's going to be three or four monkeys we've got to kill in a second. Yeah, some herbs there. Leave them. We'll be using them later. For a trophy when, when we bring Rebecca back up we use them for a trophy um, so through here now as soon as you gain control here aim your gun and as soon as any monkeys come into view kill them just hold your gun here make sure it's in the center so you're sort of in the center like that aiming down the center and that, that should hit any monkeys that come into view When you think you're low on ammo, just press square and reload this way. Because if you don't, you'll probably get attacked while you're reloading. I think they're dead. 
Yeah, they're dead. You want to make sure they're dead, obviously, you just need to re-aim your gun and that tell you if you're dead or not. Right, so once all three are dead, one, two, where's the other one? Bloody hell, we killed him from good distance, didn't we? Uh, grab his ammo. In fact, just leave it, Rebecca can grab it in a second. Come through here and enter this door here to find Rebecca. Ah, oh, <laughs> she's been hanging on there for a while. Alright, so rescued Rebecca. Uh, a little cutscene there. Billy telling Rebecca's life story. Yeah, so ink ribbon there, guys. Ink ribbon and save point from the safe. So safe if you want to. Once ready, leave the room. Obviously, as a team, now enter this door as a team, just next to you. Now leave Rebecca here. Let's uh, very important, leave her at the top of the stairs. Come through here. Be quick to avoid the spiders and enter this first door you come across. There we go. Now there's two cockroaches here. Um, and there's a key next to them that we want to grab. But as long as you're quick, you shouldn't have to quickly run past them. Grab the key. And continue back and then head straight back to the door. If you're lucky, you won't get hit. Well, if you're good, you won't get hit. But I got hit. Yeah, just run straight past them, grab a key and then exit. What's Billy's health like? Oh, I'm not going to get poisoned, am I? You want to quickly head, that's it, head straight down here after call Rebecca. Then head through this door. Damn, that was quick. Quick, and I was very lucky. So, we're all here now. Head up these steps. Let's switch to Rebecca. Grab the ammo first. Alright, why aren't you grabbing that ammo? Oh, there we go. Switch to Billy afterwards. Yep, yeah, use a key on this locker. Use a key on this locker. And you'll find a little case inside. Take it out. Billy, did you not take it? You take it out. Now once you've got it, um, examine it. Examine it. Turn the dial and you want to put 385. There we go, you'll find the custom parts inside. Now you want to give them to Rebecca. Then have... Rebecca combine them with her gun to make the custom handgun. There we go, switch back to Billy afterwards. Grab the shotgun, uh, shotgun shells. Have Rebecca grab these. There's magnum ammo, magnum ammo just flashing in this corner cupboard. Can you just see it? I think it's only one bullet, but it can it may come in useful later, so we just grab it all. You have one bullet, one bullet. Uh, switch to Billy afterwards. Now that's everything we need in here for now. Um, so now we switch to Rebecca. Well, make out. sure you're solo. Sorry, switch to Billy. Bring Billy round here. Through here. Once he's through there, um, switch back to Rebecca. And you're going to have Rebecca pull a lever here. Now have um, Rebecca press the left button. Make her press the left button first. 
that'll change the formation. Now switch to Billy, have him grab the acid rounds. Now come to these bars, now switch back to Rebecca and have her press the center button. Now the center button, there we go. Now switch back to Billy, uh, push forward through here. Once you re uh, reach this gate, switch back to Rebecca once more and have her press the center button, center button again. There we go. Now you should be able to get through. Switch back to Billy. Now, as soon as you press a switch, some hunters are going to attack. As soon as you gain control, hold R1 and fire. Because as soon as you gain control, a hunter will literally jump at you. That should net you a trophy as well, I think, from uh, hitting a hunter when it jumps. So as soon as you gain control, hold aim and fire. There'll be two hunters, so just kill him. There we go. Oh, he didn't jump. Yeah, there should be one more. Where is he? He's coming down. Here he is. There he is. That's it. That's him dead. Yeah, normally that first one almost always jumps at me. I think that's the first time it's not jumped to begin with. And once they're both dead, every gate will um, unlock. Now grab this key from this um, little hole where the hunter appeared from the facility key. Um, now we're done here now. Now first of all, just head through the door with Billy. Just gonna get Billy through here first. Just head straight through and up them steps, avoiding all the spiders. That's it. Once you're at the top of these steps, switch to Rebecca and bring her down. Now, once she's entered the corridor, we're gonna quickly switch to Billy, um, turn into a team, and then we're going to enter that door where he is, and that should take you both through straight away. Team, well, switch to Billy, this team, right and then okay. enter this door. Now, if you want to save your game, where's Rebecca? Oh, I think I was a little bit too quick there because she didn't come through with me. Split up. Roger. Come on. Oh, I Roger. think it's because I was spamming it. I spammed the button and I said, I said, come on, and then spit up at the same time. But I think she's with me now. Uh, yep, there we are. So if you want to, go through this door here, guys. Save your game. And then come over here. Have Rebecca grab that handgun ammo. We are collecting almost all the ammo, guys. But this, remember, this is just to prepare you for hard. Because the enemies take a lot more to kill and hard. Uh, now we need to do this puzzle here. Now Billy needs to light certain ones. He, he basically needs to light everyone but in a certain order. So first we need to light the deer. Uh, where is the deer? There it is. So first light the deer. Just stand next to it and use your lighter. So the deer, then it's a wolf. There's a wolf, there it is. So the wolf now. And it's a horse. The horse is back here, wasn't it? Yep, horse. And it's tiger, snake and the eagle. That seems to be the order of the food chain. So tiger, snake and the eagle. Where's the tiger? Oh, it's right at the back. Alright, so I'm stood in the wrong place. And there we are. Tiger, snake and the eagle. 
That's a snake. You thought something like a tiger would have been number one, wouldn't you? Well, I guess nothing can kill the eagle, can it? It's in the sky. An eagle eats a snake. Snake eats tiger. Snakes do not eat tigers. Right, so uh, that's that done. Uh, so now we can head through there. Now we've got a better handgun. Uh, now we've got a better handgun. We can use some. Uh, we can use the handgun a bit now. So um, switch the shotgun with the handgun with Rebecca, and uh, take the handgun ammo as well. There we go. Make sure he's got the handgun equipped. And then make sure you're solo. And then to this door. Roger. Kill the zombies. Yeah, much better. Nah, no, still, still going. Still going. Yeah, all you need to do in here is grab a file. There's a file on the desk there. That's it, management trainees. Once you've got that, exit the room. Uh, once you've got that, make sure Rebecca's with you. Regroup Let's and then regroup. enter this door. Roger. And he's got his tablet from the fireplace, the Unity tablet. Grab this bottle. You only brought Rebecca with you just in case you didn't have enough space. Once you've got them two items, exit the room. Now we're heading back up to the furnace, and uh, heading back upstairs now to the furnace corridor. And we're going to be getting the um, herbs trophy now as well. So that'll be out of the way. Um, after that, you can you'll be able to just use any healing items you want to use um, when you feel like you have to use them, basically. We don't need blue herbs anymore, by the way. So you just forget about blue herbs now. Um, so you need that blue herb. That, well, it's a blue and a red there, and two greens. But I think Rebecca's got a. Rebecca has actually got a blue herb on it, yeah. Alright, so now all we need to do now, we need to make a blue-green mix and then add another green to it. And uh, that will pop the trophy. So we've done, the, we've done all the other combinations. So I'm going to combine that. There we go. So that's a, that's a blue-green. And now we just want a green-green-blue. Combine that again. Combine. There we go. That's it. That's a combined trophy, guys. That's six different types. So that was um. So that's a, a green, green, a green, 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 a green, red. That's three. Um, we've got a green, red, blue. That's four. We've got a green, blue, five, and we've got a, a green, green, blue, which is six. Um. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to give that herb to Billy and have that use it just to refill his health there we go and we'll we'll grab this red herb take that back for, to main lobby with us just in case no we don't want that the, the red one Billy we'll take that back with us just in case you may need it later on you shouldn't do but just in case Yeah, in, uh, back to the main lobby. Um, now back on lobby. Save your game, guys, if you want to, if you feel you need to. Um, pick up the gas tank. B 
Billy's got no space. I'm going to have to. What I'm going to do? I'm going to uh, drop the red herb first. See now you now as you can see, I'm running out of space to drop things. So I'm just going to give that to Rebecca. Now grab a gas tank. Uh, combine the gas tank with uh, bottles and then drop it. Now I pick up the other bottles that are here um, just so you can get a good stack. There we go. That will fill up that stack. That's it. Then drop them all. Drop all them. We actually need the Molotovs now, so take the Molotovs with you, you're going to need them soon. Uh, drop the Magnum ammo. Yeah, drop that. And um, we can't actually fit anything else here now guys, so we're going to, we're going to have to drop um, some things up here. So now we head into the top floor now. Um, top floor and we're going to the east, east room here, the north east room. Now I'm just going to drop some items now, which we're not going to use for the time being. And drop the tablet. We don't need that for now. That's Billy. Um, Billy, you want to drop? Well, drop the shotgun and the shotgun shells. We don't need them. Again, run out of space. Bloody drop things. Drop the shotgun ammo in here. We're going to need the space, you see, that's why. And drop the um, acid rounds as well. I say, just keep the handgun ammo on you. Um, handgun and handgun ammo and the bottles. Now, give the Molotovs to Rebecca. Yeah, give them to Rebecca. Make sure Billy unequips his gun. Yeah, give them to Rebecca, then change to Rebecca. Make sure she's got the Molotovs equipped. Make sure you're solo. Stay here. Yeah. And then enter this room. Well, you need the key as well, that will help. Give me the key, Billy. Yeah, get the key from Billy. There we go. Make sure you've got a key. And yeah, Rebecca Mol so it's got Molotovs and the key. Enter this door and discard the key afterwards. Now it's going to be a leech zombie round here. You need to be, you need to be quick. If you're quick, it will take three Molotovs to kill it. And if you're quick, you should be able to kill it before it's got a chance to attack you. So run around the corner. One. Two, three. That's it. Um, now, Rebecca actually throws bottles quicker. That's why we did that as Rebecca. She throws bottles quicker. Um, so now have Rebecca unequip them. Have her unequip them. There we go. And bring Billy in. Yeah, that got you two trophies as well. Now it's Billy Solo. Enter this room here, the broadcast room. Now you need to be really quick here. So there's another leech zombie. But as long as you're quick, it shouldn't get a chance to attack you. And the item we need actually behind it. So straight away, head over here. Behind this leech zombie, straight through in the corner. There should be a vice handle there. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Grab that handle and quickly run straight past it, back to the room you came in. 
There we go. So I couldn't, I didn't actually see that, but it's literally just behind it on a shelf. Just run straight past it, grab a handle off the shelf, and then exit. And come back through here. Make sure you're a team now. And enter this door with the like, little sort of grills on it, grill sort of design. Now come over here, um, have Rebecca play piano. Yeah, have a try and play, that'll get you a trophy. It's not very good. I switched to Billy after having played piano. Who knew that Billy would have been a better piano player? I guess she improved in Res by Resident Evil 1. Alright, so um, a secret door is going to open. Now we we'll switch to Rebecca, head inside and basically grab everything that's inside. Make sure you're solo. Leave Billy outside. Okay. Yeah, grab the Magnum ammo off his barrel. Magnum ammo, grab the molot grab the bottles on the floor. Empty bottle, and then grab the battery cover. Yeah, once you take this out, the door's going to close and Billy's gonna to have to play piano again. No, I'm trapped. She's trapped with all that wine. Yeah, switch to Billy. And now have him play piano again. Alright, now bring this Rebecca with you. Head through this room back to the corridor. Yeah, back through here and enter this room. Yeah, got all them bloody leeches lur um, lurking around now. Once you're in here, um, make sure Billy's only got the handgun and the handgun ammo. Um, and the vice handle, he wants a vice handle as well. Um, that's so he's, he should have three slots free. Um, once in that, make sure you're solo. Leave Rebecca there and then oh, enter back okay. and back through the door. Yeah, just need to make sure, make sure you've got a handgun equipped, you'll need it soon. That's it, now head through this door. Now we'll head into this door on the right, this door here. Now there's two zombies near. If they both come from the same direction, you can get away without killing them both. But if they both come from different direction, you're going to have to kill one. There we go. Well, well, I've had to knock one down, but they're both together now, so I should be able to do this bit without killing them. Uh, grab these shotgun shells from this corner. There we go. Um, yeah, they still come down there. They come over here. You can see where the tablet is, it's on that middle vice, um, use square and use the vice handle on it to release the tablet. There 
There we go. Grab the tablet afterwards. Make sure you pick it up afterwards. There we go. Now just exit the room now. Oh, that zombie is getting close to me. Now head all the way down into the door at the bottom. This door here. Now grab the first aid spray. The hand grenade ammo. Now what are you doing Billy? Yeah grab the hand grenade ammo. And... You've only got two slots, you can't grab everything. Um, but I'm going to grab a green herb because I have just put a new I have just put a fresh red herb in the main lobby so I can with this I can add a green herb to it Billy can't combine them unfortunately so now back into this corridor once you got mainly all you wanted from there really was the first aid spray and the handgun ammo so it's going to be leech zombie here now so you want to quickly enter that central door and hopefully you won't get attacked like so Now we're about we're almost done in the mansion guys. We're just gonna be finishing up now in the mansion, and then we'll be heading into the next area. So back through here, back to Rebecca. Now make sure you're a team. Come on. Roger. Um you just wanna grab grab your bits and bobs now. Um let's just see what space we have. Billy can grab the shotgun ammo. We'll give the green herb to Rebecca and she can make, she can combine that red herb with it on the floor. And got them acid rounds. Just going to leave them acid rounds here for now. We will be coming back here later. So just make sure, make sure you do get your acid rounds because they're important. You will need them later. Now we're heading all the way back to the main lobby. There's no more enemies to kill for the time being, by the way, guys. So um, yeah, it's no not really a big problem that we don't have any ammo on us. So back down to the first floor. And we're just, basically what we're doing now, we're just going to get the last, there's one more tablet we're going to get. Um, but I'm going to grab this gas tank here. No, not the green herb, the gas tank. The green herb, the gas tank's closer, I'm not sure why she bloody picked the green herb for. So we're going to combine that with the empty bottle. That'll give us six, uh, six Molotovs. Yeah, once you've done that, um, head outside. And we're going to get basically going to get a third tablet now. So switch to Billy. Um, make sure you're solo, or for, otherwise your teammate will get in the way. Make sure he's got the battery on him. He wants a battery. There we go. Once you've got a battery, come over here and he wants to put the battery in this little slot. Now I'll power the elevator. It'll bring a big box down. Well, you need to interact with it first. Use the lift, press yes to use the lift. It'll bring this crate down. Now climb, uh, climb over the uh, crate, climb down behind it. And push this crate out here. Once you push it enough to actually get it out yourself, um, come around the opposite side and start pushing it towards the door. Now 
Now that pillar just on the left of the screen, there's something on the top there. We need to push this crate, uh, crate next to it so we can climb. You can just see it there. The, you can just see it there. There's a tablet on top. There's a little tablet on top of that pillar that we need to grab. You can just see it's shiny. Yeah, so push a crate as pillar on the left and uh, climb on top of it. Grab the tablet. There we go. And now we'll climb. Switch to Rebecca. Um, make sure you're a team and then enter this door. Now we're going to be leaving it, leaving this bit now, guys. So now's the time when um, we want to make sure we've got everything we need. So um, you're not going to have any space for healing items, by the way. Now, um, so if you need to heal, um, just use something now. If you if you're low on health, um, I've just picked up them. Handgun bullets with Rebecca. We're gonna pick up that f uh, the, the napalm rounds. She ain't got enough space, so Billy's gonna have to grab them. No, not the first aid spray, Bill. Like I say, you're not gonna have space for any healing items, so you're just gonna have to drop them all. So I want them napalm rounds. Come on, Billy, you can do this. Alright, so back down. We're just gonna get um I'm gonna get ready what I need and then we're going to save. Um so yeah, you want the you want the handgun, you want the bullets, you want the tablet, you want shotgun shells, you want the napalm rounds, you want the magnum ammo, you want the molotovs. Uh no, don't need that. I'm not gonna have space for it. Do not what you do not want the gas the gas tank either. You want the Molotovs, but not the gas tank. Uh, Hangar ammo. Give out to Billy. Uh, and there we go. That's all you need for now, guys. Um, the rest. Um, we're also going to need the grenade launcher, the shotgun shells, and the acid rounds. Yes, I know we do not have space. But we will be, we will have space soon for them. You'll ju we'll just have enough space. So now we're going to say, so that's what you should have now, guys. Um, handgun, handgun, handgun ammo, um, shotgun shells, tablets, uh, or grenade ammo. You should have magnum ammo and the molotovs. The rest, the rest is on the way to where we're going. It's in the art room and in the cage room, and where we fought the boss. But we're just going to save now. So ink ribbon. Not the gas tank. Always picking up the wrong things. That's it. Pick up the ink ribbon. That's the one. We're learning. We're learning. Uh, so I'm going to drop that. Yeah, now make a save, guys. I oh, know, guys. It takes a long time. Just It's just with all the item management. It's not quick, is it? It's very slow paced. But it's not really much you can do. You have to keep dropping stuff, don't you? You have to keep dropping stuff. Alright, so we're going to leave the area now. Once you've saved, guys, um, drop that ink ribbon. Don't need it no more. So leave that. Um, we've got a thing we need. So um, we're going to head up to the art, the art room now. Yeah, we've got a thing we need down here. Make sure you do have everything. Um, yeah, just head up to the top floor, second floor, and head into this door here. Now we're just grabbing everything now that we left at the bottom. Here, well, the shotgun and the ammo. Uh, there's a shotgun and the tablet, of course. You need the tablet. 
Oh, Bill ain't got enough space. Rebecca's going to have to grab that. Grab that for me, little one. Or just enter the door. I need to enter that door anyway to um, get the acid rounds that we left in here. Um, so that's acid rounds. I think Billy's got enough space for them. We'll see. No, he hasn't. Becca's going to have to grab it. There you go, Rebecca. Don't, please don't enter the door again. There we go. Uh, let's just look at our inventory. Yeah, she's just got enough space but for the shotgun. This is like I say, guys, you, you've literally just got enough space for the important stuff and the ammo. You don't have enough space for any, any of the health items. Alright, so Becca, grab that shotgun. Oh my gosh. This game does not make things easy for you. No, I'm pressing X now, I'm not picking it up. Oh, come on, please pick up that shotgun. There we go, I'm not even standing next to it there. Okay, so I'm going to switch to Billy because I don't want to fire. And I'm going to leave Rebecca here. I'll go alone. Now, it's no need to waste ammo on these cockroaches because we're only going to sprint over to this door. So, straight away, just sprint over there. Straight through this door. Actually, about to go through. I'll check it out. Okay. Call Rebecca and go through. Um, because that bloody cockroach was attack me, um, I'm not sure if she's actually come through. Ah, she is. Cool. Alright, so um, some ammo here. We'll grab that. Now what's going to happen here guys, when you put all the tablets in, when you put all the tablets in, um, the place is going to rotate and you're not going to be able to get back there. Well you can, I think, but it's a very long journey to do so. So first of all, you just want to bring in You just want to go and get that hook shot and the grenade launcher. So yeah, just drop. Uh, make sure you so though. You stay here. Uh, drop your stuff there so you've got four free slots. Then quickly head back into here, grab that grenade launcher and the um, hook shot, then come back in. Hopefully Rebecca's not going to take too long. Grab that one and then the hook shot. Uh, yep, there we go. Now, if you want, you can drop everything here and head back and collect all them herb, all them um, healing items that you've missed, and you can bring them back in this room and drop them off. That's entirely up to you guys. We're not under any time pressure here, so if you want to, just. Um, Drop some more items, head back, grab all them healing items if you want and bring them back here. It's completely up to you. Um, you shouldn't need to following this video, but if just in case you want to, um, you can go and do that. Alright, because um, like I say, when you put them tablets in, what's going to happen? This room we're in, it's going to rotate and then you won't be able to go through that door. Alright, so I just want to make enough space to grab them three tablets. So let's just drop some of this stuff here. So let's grab the tablets. And you want to come down this room here. Uh, room. <laughs> come down this ladder. Um, I think there's... No, I thought it's a herb down here, but it's not. Yeah, so just use all the tablets here now. Yeah, you just need to you need to use them from the menu. That's one. Yeah, okay. Uh, now I want to use the other one. That's another one. And then one more. There'll be a cutscene now. Uh, 
you can you can get back after but it's a lot longer to do so um, Right, um, there we go. Now we're going to go back at the top. Yeah, that's a training facility complete. Yeah, I'll just show you where this door takes you now. Oh, bloody monkeys. There's two herbs there, as you saw. I just want to show you where that is, guys. So open the map. As you can see, um, it's on the terrace outside. Can I zoom in it? Yeah, as you can see. Oh, it's bloody map. Training facility, right? Change floor. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can see that um, it's just outside the terrace near the, um, what's it called? Conser conference room, that's it. Sorry, I forgot the name. Yeah, so it, it takes you just by conference room, but you can, as you can see, their monkeys have spawned. There'll be a few different enemies now there, and it is, a bit of, it is a bit of a pain now. But if you do need to head back to get some healing items, you can do. But like I said um, beforehand, you wanted to do it just before. Alright, so now we're just going to get some items that we need. Now I've freed up them slots. So as a grenade, um, we get a shotgun. We're going to have to drop one item, by the way. There's nothing we can really do about that. So I'll call Rebecca up. Come on, Rebecca. What we're going to do, we're going to drop the Molotovs and then we'll come and get them again afterwards. Rebecca, you drop the Molotovs. Uh, they, well, it don't really matter, but we'll just drop them. Um, you can drop the Magnum Bullets if you wanted, so we will come back and collect them. And pick up them Napalm Rands. Right, once done, as a team, head through these double doors over here. Yeah, it's going to be a boss soon, guys, and this boss is, I wouldn't say it's difficult, but on, on hard it can be an absolute pain in the ass, just because it flies around in the air above, you can't see where it is, and it spawns little sort of uh, smaller enemies afterwards, and um, they can, when you shoot the big boss, they get in the way, so you don't actually hit it, waste ammo, um, so you need one of Rebecca's stand here, so up. put it on there, and then split up. And now I just want to make sure we've got everything we need. So Billy wants. Uh, he wants a grenade launcher. So let's talk that with Billy. He wants a hook shot. Yeah, he wants a hook shot as well. But grenade launcher, you want the napalm rounds for that. So um. Yeah, you want the napalm rounds, um, but uh, just before you combine them, though, combine the acid rounds as well. So combine them, and then combine the f napalm rounds, because you actually have to combine each of them, because they actually count towards a weapon uh, for the weapons trophy. You need to actually have had each of the uh, grenade ammo within the grenade launcher. So once you've used napalm rounds... Um, we need to actually make some space now. I'm going to have to drop something here by the looks of it and then pick up again. Yep, you remember you want that hook shot. Um, so take that hook shot with you. And then you want, once you've got the hook shot, and then you want the um, the, hang, the custom handgun. There you go. Now just make sure Rebecca picks up them rounds you dropped.
and then leave her on that plate which will unlock the church. You have to do this bit solo anyway. Um, so Billy, he wants a grenade launcher with them six napalm rounds it should have. He wants a hook shot and he wants a handgun and the handgun ammo. So once you've done all that, uh, leave Rebecca there and come into the church. Just come straight through the church and come to this door here. Yeah, some more na napalm rounds here that you can combine. You're gonna, fortunately, you're gonna have to drop something here just so you can. Um, Yeah, you're going to have to drop something, fortunately. Um, so, you grab the napalm rounds. No, leave the shotgun ammo there for now, guys. We'll get that later. But grab them napalm rounds. Use and combine them with the grenade launcher. You see you've got 12 now. You've got 12 napalm rounds now. And now, before you do anything else, pick up the ink ribbon. Uh, yes, take it. And then we'll save your game. Now it's a few trophies connected to this boss and we're going to get them now. Um, so first of all, uh, we'll leave the hook shot there for now. Make sure you've got the grenade launcher equipped. There's a very specific way we kill this boss, and it's exactly the, way, the exact same way we kill it in hard, and it will just really help. Um, but like I said, to begin with, just going to get a few trophies first connected to it, a few just mi uh, misc trophies. So first, just let him grab you. We'll take you up into the air. Let him grab you. Come on, grab me. He'll grab you. <laughs> he won't. He shouldn't take too long. He'll grab you eventually. There we go. Once you do this, just shake free, rotate the analog stick and press X and you should shake free. Once you've done that, um, just try and shoot him now. Once you've shot him enough, some bats should appear. Once uh, smaller bats appear, select your handgun and just um, begin shooting them. You need to kill 16 um, for a trophy. Now it's a slightly easier way to do this so the big bat doesn't keep picking you up. Come over to the church door and exit. So once all the little bats appear and you've got that first trophy for them picking you up, uh, just come out the main door. It's my effort, I'm on caution. And all you want to do, just keep coming in, shooting one or two bats, and then, well, shoot, come in, shooting two or three. Shooting two or three bats. And then exit the door. Just keep doing that until um, you get the trophy for killing the smaller bats. I think I've killed, what, about six or seven? You've got to kill 16 of them, I think it is. Probably getting low in health now. Oh, danger. Getting close to health. That's because I let him uh, grab me at the start. So you may not get these both in the same run. You may have to reload the safe to get the one for shooting the bats. Some of the smaller bats. So now, um, now I've got every smaller bat for now. I'm going to have to damage a big bat again to make some more smaller bats appear. Come 
completely missed. Yeah, some more of the bats started appearing again. I oh know this trophy is a little bit annoying. See, it's quite difficult and hard. That's why we're doing our normal while we can. Shouldn't, shouldn't have many more to kill now. Yeah, I've killed the boss as well. But I'm, I'm hoping I killed enough bats. Wing spawn of Satan was the trophy I wanted. 16 bat. Yeah, I didn't kill them. Um, so it's going to quit game. I'm going to load that game back up. Resident but now I've got that first trophy for letting him grab you. Um, I should be able to get them easier now. The second wave of small bats, they actually just keep, the bats just keep coming. Um, the first wave, you only get so many, it's limited. But the second wave, the bats will just keep on spawning. But that's a difficult part, being <laughs> try not to kill the actual boss. Right, here they go, here they all come. Switch to um, handgun now. Let's try again. I think I've got about six then. I think I've got about six, five or six. That's got to be what, ten? Oh, damn. I can't be many more to kill now, surely. Just got to try. <laughs> be careful! I don't kill the big bat. That's all. There we go. I've got the trophy. That's it. That's what we wanted, guys. So now I'm just going to reload the safe, and uh, now we can actually kill it. Now the way we kill it, like it, like I was saying, it's a very specific way. And it is, it is a little bit difficult to pull off, I think, uh, probably, to begin with. But once you, get, once you get the knack of it, it's quite simple to do. It doesn't happen every single time, because there's a little tiny bit of luck involved. But this makes the boss very, very easy. Without this method, it's very difficult to see. As you, as you saw there, his little bats always get in the way, and they, they can make you waste lots of ammo. But this way, it's... Um, well, you, kill, you can kill him literally about 20 seconds. The way we do it, as soon as you gain control, um, basically you run back to the altar, you aim up, you wait for him to come down, to swoop down and grab you, and then you hit him, and as soon as you hit him once, you lock onto him again, and then you just keep hitting him, and you you should still knock him. But the tricky bit is actually hitting him, and then aiming onto him again, because when you hit him, um, you hit, hit him with a grenade launcher, he'll get sort of, 
he'll get knocked back and when he gets knocked back he can sort of move out of your line of fire that's why you need to auto aim again uh, don't re-aim um, by doing this don't re-aim by letting go of R1 all you want to do is press L1 which changes target and that should relock onto him so you shoot him relock shoot him you may have to relock a, th a second time so you aim shoot uh, relock shoot and you may have to relock a second time depends if he moved um, but the way it works is um, the second time you hit him he'll stay where he is and you can just hold the button in and just keep firing and you'll 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 basically stun lock him um right we're gonna see how this go guys i haven't done it for a while um so you see me doing the first time i haven't done it for a while we've got a save right next to him so it's not too difficult just keep trying it till you get it because you will use this strategy on hard so as soon as you begin run back to the altar aim up keep aiming onto him when he comes close i missed him when he comes close fire lock on see it didn't quite work then now if it doesn't work just quickly reload and try again You see, he moved. He moved the first time I hit him, moved out of the way. Then the second time I hit him, he moved out of the way again. But a lot of the time, the second time you hit him, he'll just sort of stay where he is, and he'll get stunned, but he'll sort of stay where he is. So he can just keep on holding the fire button down. I did try relocking, um, but I did miss. So let's try again. Um, grenade launcher of napalm rounds. So you run back to the altar, aim up, wait for him to come down, hit him, aim again, hit him, you, and if he moves too much, aim again, and then hold fire. And hopefully he'll stay in the same place, you could just hold the fire button down and uh, just stun lock him. So I'm going to keep pressing L1 here. I oh, missed, that was too slow again. See, he's moving sideways too much. I think it might be because I keep missing him on that first time. You are entering an insane world. Alright, so back to the altar, aim up, keep relocking the fire just before he comes down. There we go. No, oh no, he moved back. I thought I had him then, but he moved back. And I was a bit, I did get a bit ahead of myself then. I did attack him when he hadn't swooped down to me. Because the thing is, when he swoops down, he's, um, He's facing you, so when you hit him, he should launch backwards. And that's that is not what's happening at the moment. I know, guys. This is what it's my f uh, fourth attempt now. Um, but you do you do want to learn this? Trust me. Doing this bat, killing this bat on hard without this strategy is a pain in the ass. And once you've done this once or twice, you should it should be a lot easier then. It's only this playthrough and hard we have to do a strategy, by the way, guys. On the other on the other um, playthroughs, we've got bonus weapons. Um, I wouldn't even use it now, but because I want to get you ready for hard, that's why we're doing the strategy now. So, back to the altar, aim up, wait for him to come down for me. Oh my god, I wasted so much ammo then. There we are, like that. And that's it guys, he gets he gets stun locked like that he does. But I wasted a bit more ammo than what I wanted to do. Because on hard, on hard you'll literally have one or two free, um, free napalm rounds. So you need to make your rounds count. I missed uh, two, I missed two there didn't I? Yeah, so once you've done it once, um, just give it another go, give it another try. 
um because this is in preparation for hard and this is probably it's probably the most uh i'm gonna drop that in crew in shall i say difficult it's not really a difficult boss it's a strategy and all it requires the strategy i mean it's just a bit of luck really and getting the timing down but i guess as far as boss fights involved in this game it's it's this is probably one of the trick, uh, trickiest ones you have, really. Oh, it's too late again. Too late. Yeah, you've got to be very quick to keep that stun lock going. The good thing is, because I haven't done this for a while, you're seeing exactly how long it's probably going to take you to just um, learn this. If it looks like he doesn't move out of the line of fire, you do not need to re-aim. Only re-aim, um, sorry, re-lock if he looks like he's moved out of your line of fire. There we go, guys. Yeah, it's not too bad. See, it's that's exactly how you want to need to kill it hard. Now, what I was doing on that one, because he kept, he kept moving very slightly after each shot, I had to keep shooting, pressing L1, shoot L1, shoot L1, shoot. Because um, if I didn't do that, I probably I may have missed him. So yeah, uh, that's basically how you want to kill him, guys. And that's exactly how you're going to kill him on hard. Um, how much? Um, so I used what I used five rounds. Then that's all I used. But on hard, you'll probably need almost all of them. Um, I, I'm, and I can't remember exactly if you get as many rounds or not on hard. But yeah, that's how you're going to kill him on hard. So I've just got to get back in here now. I need to grab this hook shot. Uh, we'll come back in in a bit to grab them shotgun shells. Be honest, we'll bring Rebecca in now and she can grab them. Well, no, she won't because the door door's locked, isn't it? What I'm going to do, I'm just going to drop something out here. Then when I get Rebecca later, uh, she can... I'm just going to drop them... Drop them. I'm going to grab the shotgun shells, guys. You're going to have loads. You're going to have literally loads, tons of ammo left at the end of the game here. Um, but this this will all matter on hard. So let's grab that shotgun ammo. We're making a save uh, save shortly. That's why I'm not actually making one now. Because we will be making one soon. Yeah, you want to come to this opening. Just so that opening appears. Then you need to use the hook shot. Now calm down the ladder. Pull this lever. Yeah, I guess the elevator working. Yeah, it's a herb, red herb there. Yeah. 
Yeah, sorry, I couldn't remember there's a green herb in the corner or not. So yeah, just come through here, open this gate. You still can't grab anything. You've got no space at all to grab anything. Now we need Rebecca. This way. Roger. So switch to Rebecca. Now Billy's going to give them shotgun shells to Rebecca now. Um, exchange. You can have them. There you go, sweethearts. I'm going to take the custom handgun ammo. There we go. <laughs> We're fully stocked up. That's it, guys. And down the elevator now. You can still come back if you need to. If you want to get any of them healing items that you've missed, if you have missed any, uh, left any, sorry, you can come all the way back here. It's just a bit of a trek, and um, then monkeys will be in your way. Best way to kill a monkey is just with a shotgun. Uh, you may remember we killed some earlier. Just stand there with a shotgun, wait for them to come near you, shoot. And yeah, go and get them healing items if you want them. Um, you will have enough anyway to get you, get you by. So come through here into this door. And uh, we're going to be saving the game now. Now just grab this, grab this diary here. Now we're going to drop the grenade launcher. We're not going to be using that just now. Drop the grenade launcher. Leave that, um, switch to Rebecca, drop all the grenade launcher ammo, drop it all, drop, and drop that magnum ammo as well. Now Rebecca wants a shotgun, Rebecca wants a shotgun ammo and the hook shot. She wants that, Billy wants a custom handgun and the handgun ammo. And just equip it, there we go. Now, now we're going to save the game. Grab a zinc ribbon. Record the data. Yeah, we did. Um, we did leave them uh, Molotovs. I'll probably just leave them now, to be honest. You can go and get them soon because you will need them. You will need some for this bit, but there is some here. But you only just have enough. So now you want to um, drop the ink ribbon, as Billy. Make sure he drops it. Make sure he's got his. Um, make sure Billy's got the handgun equipped, and then you want to be Rebecca. You want to make sure you're solo. I'll go. Yeah, I'll go. Rebecca will go. Make sure she's solo and she's got the shotgun equipped. Um, then head over here. Now, um, this zombie by the wall here, we're not going to kill him right now, but just make a note of the zombie here, because later on, we're going to try and avoid it, but if you perform a certain action, this a zombie will animate, and obviously Billy's here, so um, I'll let you know exactly what, you have to, exactly what happens, we're going to try and avoid the trigger for it, but just in case you do hit the trigger, you're going to quickly need to switch back to Billy and kill this zombie here, when he animates, but I'll let you know when that happens, um, so going to come over here this hole Rebecca's going to use a hook shot to to shoot up there now grab this um, file off this chair here now we need to be uh, really quick quick in this room um, just north of me um, that door to the north, you can see it. Um, well, that place, that small um, branching part corridor on the, on the uh, right side there, on the east side, and um, there's going to be a mimicry of zombies going to appear, and there's an item we quickly need to get from behind it. 
So just be quick, and then you quickly get through that north door. So you come around here, quickly run behind it, grab this leech capsule. Yep, grab that, that's the one. Quickly run back. Try and be quick. Grab the map from near this door. There we go, and head through the door. Hit, the bu hit this button here. And then we need to head, um, enter that central north door quickly. Just quickly head up here and into this door here. Right, what we want to do now, we want to drop the hook shot in here. So drop that, leave it, keep them items on you. Um, grab this gas tank. And there should be some empty bottles around the corner here. There's a herb there if you need it later. Yeah, empty bottle here. Grab that. You want to combine that with a gas tank to make some Molotov. So there's a save point there if you want to save. Um, oops, I switched back to Billy. Yeah, combine them. There we go. And then exit the room. Once you're back in here, enter this door here. Sorry, not this door. Ignore that. I mean this door. Sorry, guys. This door here. Right. These are the two zombies. That zombie on the right, the bottom of the screen there on the right, guys. If you go near that, um, it will cause that zombie near Billy in the library to animate. Even if you don't kill a zombie, um, just just attacking it. Well, even if even if you kill it before it animates, it will still cause that zombie um, next to Billy to animate. So stay away from that zombie on the right there. Now we're going to grab the shotgun shells. Yep, grab these. We're going to go go over that left zombie. The one on the left will animate later, but he doesn't trigger any of this. Just stay away from that one that's light laying down. Grab this um, no, uh, file off a table here. Then head over here to a small little alcove. Interact with this red tank. And you want to add this to your mixing set. And that should uh, create a stripping agent. Right, once done, head back. Remember to uh, stay to the left side near this zombie. Don't go near that zombie on the right there laying down. That's it, and then come through these double doors. There's two zombies near, we need to kill the shotgun. But there will be three. If you alerted that zombie um, in that room you just just left, and um, which I say you want to avoid, there'll be three in here. But if you didn't, there's only going to be two we need to kill. Oh my god, really? That's a waste of ammo. Right, should be one more zombie in here somewhere. Where is he hiding? Oh damn, it's pretty close, there he is. That's how you do it. Right, head all the way to the end and grab a file. There should be a file at the end here. There it is, grab that file. Right, now we've got that file, um, you want to open your inventory. You want to use that stripping agent that you created, use that on the leap capsule. 
we have to combine it and that will make the blue leech like so in the center here should be first edge spray yep there it is now if you haven't got if you haven't got a stripping agent for whatever reason you should still have that red um, chemical though there's more green chemical in here so just make sure you take some green chemical afterwards make sure you take some more green chemical so take some green chemical from from that so once you've used a stripping agent so I'll strip uh, change the ability here. once you've used a stripping agent just take some more green chemical now we're going to head over to here interact with this and you want to send the blue leech there put the blue leech inside send it to the reference room there we go once you've sent that uh, switch to Billy and grab the blue leech charm from here there's something inside yeah grab that then switch back to Rebecca and now you want to send down the three molotovs interact with it again and now send down the molotovs there we go Switch to Billy now, take the Molotovs. There's something inside. Yep. Uh, take the pick up the ink ribbon and just make a save now, guys. Uh, right, where's that ink ribbon? Is that it? No, that's a grenade launcher. Oh, there it is. Yeah, make a save now. Right, once you've saved, uh, drop drop the ink ribbon. Make sure you've got your Molotovs equipped. Now, um, we'll, we'll be using this thing to kill a Mimikai. It's going to take all three to kill it, so we need to try not to miss. Come around here. Just uh, throw all three. Once you've hit it with all three, that should kill it. And once you've thrown one, try and run behind it before you throw the other. And um, just be safe. Alright, once you've done that, you want to place a blue leech charm in this door. Place that in the door. That's it, lock has been released. And then enter the blue leech room. Equip your handgun. If you do fail on that Mimicry, um, you have only just saved your game. Um, you want to just reload your game until you actually pull that off, um, because it will just save you. It will just help you to um, conserve your ammo. Um, now, uh, get these handgun bullets here. Come around and grab this. I think it's the input coil. Is it called him? Your input reg coil. Grab that, and you should get a file as well with it. Yeah, there we go, a file. Yeah, once you've got that, enter... And Billy's reading. Once you've got that, enter this door here. Now, it's one zombie here. Just, um, just run around the room to evade it. You just want this 
thing, uh, the green leech from the statue's hand. Now it's another zombie on the floor. He won't animate unless you kill that one that's walking around. So just don't waste any bullets. Just evade him by running around the room. Then come back in here. Basically now we're headed in all the way back to the library. Or the reference room. It's called a library on, um, on the safe game site. It calls it a library. But when you interact with that um, little elevator. That service lift. It calls it the reference room. So back through here guys, through here we're basically going to send the green leech up to Rebecca now. So back over here, interact with this, send something to the operator room, yes, the green leech. Send that up to Rebecca. Once you've done that, switch to Rebecca, take it, right so now we've got a green leech, make sure, make sure Rebecca's got a shotgun equipped, and use the green leech on the green leech door. Now you want to keep Yes a zombie there's a zombie laying down here. That zombie on the right there. Just stay to the left side and you avoid it. If you run next to that zombie if you run next to that zombie on the right it'll grab you. You can kill this one that's laying down. Just uh video. Oh, so many die one hit, yeah. Grab his handgun ammo. Grab this um, big red tank. Sterilizing agent, that's a one. And just exit the room again. It's gonna reload ready. Yep, exit the room. Back in here, head back in here, back in this room. Again, make sure you avoid that zombie on the right, guys, because that zombie animates. It'll cause that zombie next to Billy in the reference room slash library to animate. So stay to the left near these tube, um, near these test testing tubes. You want to come over here, grab the red, grab the red uh, chemical, put it in the mixing set. Yeah, add the red chemical to it to make another stripping agent. Uh, interact with this. And you now want to place the sterilizing agent inside. Now, be really quick here, guys, and you won't have to kill any zombies because you can get out just before they animate. But again, make sure you stay to the side where the testing tubes are so you avoid that zombie on the floor so he doesn't animate. So as soon as you come in here, quickly grab a key, get out, uh, run past them zombies, stay into that side I mentioned. Quickly grab this key. You probably just heard the zombie moan then. Heard him groan, they're just getting up. Uh, see, I wasn't quick enough, I wasn't quick enough. Yeah, see, stay. If you do go near that zombie that's laying down, um, as soon as you get out of the room, switch to Billy so he can kill it. But, like, he should have his weapon equipped already. So, probably going to have to heal soon. So, now you've got the key, you can unlock this door. Breeding room key. Come in this door. There we go.
Right, it's two hunters in here, so just edge forward. Because you will have to kill him in a second. There they are. Come around here when they do appear. They're taking their time, aren't they? There you. If Rebecca gets to watch her health, if she gets the danger, use that first aid spray. Probably in danger now. No, still in caution. Oh, now she'll be danger definitely, yeah. I should take one more shot. There we go. Yeah, once they're dead, grab this file. Come on, Becca, grab the damn file. The BOW report. Once you grab that, grab this uh, dial from here. Dial on the floor. Then exit the room. Now we're going to head back a few rooms and we're going to, going to send this dial down to Billy. Straight through here. Yeah, we're gonna send the send the dial down to Billy. Then switch to Billy afterwards. Grab a dial from the door. Uh, from the door, from the little lift. There we go. Now we. We won't be coming back in this room, so we'll need to try and grab whatever we can with Billy, whatever, whatever we have space for. Um, we'll, we'll have Rebecca send them handgun ammo as down as well. Yeah, send the handgun ammo down to Billy as well. Then Rebecca can uh, pick up anything she's got space for later. Send that down to Billy. Yeah, Billy, got a little present for you. Ooh, ooh, something inside. Right now we've got that's gonna take up four slots. Um don't have enough space for all that. Damn. So just take what you can and just fill fill up your space and we'll come back and get the rest later. I'm gonna have to and exit the room. through here now interact with this door and you want to well you want to use the dial use the dial on the door so use that dial and the code is 4863 yeah combination 4 so 4 then press ok then 8 ok 6 ok and then 3 there we go we've cracked the lock I was just head back in there, grab some, um, we've got one free slot now, so we're going to grab um, some more ammo. And all we have, need to do then is come back for the grenade launcher. And then um, Rebecca can grab them herbs. So just go into that door where we used to dial. Yep, into here. Then 
Now, after the cutscene. No, that's the wrong way. Sorry, after the cutscene, head over to this wall and pull this lever. Yeah, pull it. I should move the platform over to you so you can climb the ladder. Yeah, now there's platforms here. Climb up the ladder. Yeah, just leave that. You don't have enough space for it now. Climb the ladder. Now, once you're back up here, drop, uh, drop all your items. Well, drop the handgun. Drop the handgun bullets. The coil, but keep the keep the grenade rounds on you. Once you've done that, um, head back. Climb down the ladder. We're basically just heading back to the safe room now guys, just to collect anything else that we didn't, didn't have enough space for. I think the, the magnum ammo is there as well. So yeah, just back down here. There's this grenade launcher. There should be magnum ammo as well. Yeah, there it is. Yes, you once you got that, head through this door. Now switch to Rebecca. That's a Rebecca, head through here. Through this door. Through here. Right, now we're back up here. Right, bring Billy up now. Climb up this ladder with him. So just need to make sure Billy's got everything. All Billy wants, he wants the um, he wants a grenade launcher, he wants a shotgun, and then just give him whatever ammo you can. Um, just fill this inventory up with grenade uh, grenade rounds or um, shotgun shells. So make sure he drops that. Yeah, just make sure Billy's got that. He wants a grenade launcher, the shotgun. And the acid rounds and the normal grenade rounds. Make sure he's got them. Rebecca, um, she'll want everything else. Um, shotgun shells, custom handgun, uh, magnum, handgun bullets. Um, but we will pick some of them. We'll pick some of the other stuff up later as Rebecca. But for now, um, she wants to pick up the hook shot. So make sure she's got the hook shot. We will be, we'll be getting rid of that soon, guys. We're about to use it for the very last time. 
So no more dragging that around for the rest of the, for the, rest of the game. So yeah, pick this up with Rebecca. She wants a hook shot now. Um, she also wants his coil on the floor here. Once you've done that, head down the floor. Um, head down, so uh, not so though. It's a T. Come on. Okay. Climb down the ladder. Grab this coil over here. This Rebecca. This output reg coil. Grab that. Come down here. And because Billy's got low health, we're just going to fill his health up. We're going to grab that red and green herb from here and just use them on Billy. There we go. Just give that to Billy for a second. Exchange. Yeah, switch to Billy. There, right, everyone's got full health now. I exchanged the wrong thing there. Yeah, Billy. There we go, Billy's got a grenade launcher, the ammo and the shotgun. Once done, um, head back through the door. Switch to Rebecca. Basically, you're going to come into this corner. You're going to see the um, hole in the top. And you want to use hook shot now. Last time we have to use it. Right, grab the shotgun shells. It's Rebecca. Drop that. Um, Stupid hook shot, don't need it no more. Finally, yes. Come over to this panel here and you now you want to, here you want to use the coils. So use one and then use the other. The tram activated the tram or the train. We've done that, unlock this door, and now exit this door. Now, when you pick everything up that we need, is Rebecca as we move on. Hangar ammo. Uh, custom handgun and the magnum ammo we need. Just keep all the handgun ammo on you for now. I, I know I've got one sack of nine bullets, so if I do need to discard something, I'll probably get rid of that. Grab the ink ribbon and then save your game. We'll go for a new slot here. We've almost done this bit now, guys. We'll be heading um, heading into the last place soon. So once you've saved your game, drop the ink ribbon. We'll equip that. Come on, Rebecca. Yeah, then head down here. Climb down the ladder. Now we're going to... Well, I'm not going to spoil this bit, just in case this is your first time playing. So, um, once you get down the ladder, try and use a tram. We 
a cutscene. Now straight off this cutscene you need to sort of hold up and right to ho avoid the mim uh, mimicry. Yeah straight away just sort of hold up and right diagonal. Bloody camera angle's got me then. And you want to climb up this ladder as soon as you can. There's no point wasting ammo on that mimicry. Just as soon as you gain control um, hold sort of dag um, up and right north. Hold northeast on the analog stick. Try and avoid that straight away, and hopefully you will not get um, confused by the bloody stupid camera angles. Grab this green herb. We won't be coming back here, but we can use this soon. That mimicry just damaged me a little bit. So I've just lost control of Billy. That's why we wanted to make sure he had them weapons on him, because we will not be using them until we get Billy back. Um, so I'll just spoil that for now. We will not be using them until we get Billy back. But we do need them for later. So I should have picked this herb up on the way back. So I'm dropping the herb. I'm going to pick up this coil on the floor. I've dropped the hook shot in a stupid place. Come on, Rebecca. Oh, I bet you know it's going to be a hook shot. No, you want to pick up the coil. I've got it. Yeah, there it is. And then put the coil back inside. That's it, um, the tram is running again. Now I pick up the herb. Now all we need to do now, basically we need to climb down that ladder and then quickly get in that tram. Hopefully we won't take damage. I have. We're going this. Now we're getting the magnum now, finally. Um, so first just use that herb because you need a free slot anyway. Use that herb. There you go. Grab the magnum of his body. Hey, I, you won't be needing that, buddy. I take it off your hands. Yeah, grab the magnum. He won't be needing it. And then operate the cable car, guys. Is it laboratory complete? Right, we're gonna we need free our slots, so we're gonna drop everything here guys except for the custom handgun and the handgun ammo. So drop everything apart from the handgun and the handgun ammo. And um, once you drop them, grab these two green herbs and combine them. That'll be a healing item if you need it later. Yeah, combine them. And head up here through this door. Uh, up the steps. Not that door. Up the steps, guys. And then into this door here. Head all the way down here into a small lift. Press X on the small lift to use it. And that bring you down here. Just head along here and enter this door. Now, this next room we're going to get a key at the end, but once you get the key on the way back, two hunters are going to appear. But if you just run if you just run straight past, hopefully well, most time I can get by without getting damaged. So just grab the key and run straight back and exit this room the way you came in. Just grab this key. If you're quick, they shouldn't hit you. Just hopefully you don't get um, confused by camera angles. Well, no. that one got me. Yeah, oh, not too bad. One hit. There we go. Yeah, just run straight past them guys to escape. Back up that little lift.
and then head through this door here. There's some handgun ammo that you can collect. So grab that. Grab the factory map. Save your game here if you want to. You can see there, there's the ink ribbon. Um, grab these grenade rounds. I'm not going to bother, but um, save your game if you want to, guys. And once you've done that, you need to use the facility key on this computer here, on this monitor. and then exit this door. Now head down here, there'll be a large lift here now. Head down this side, you find this panel and um, operate it. Lower the turntable, yes please. It's going to be a little boss fight shortly, guys. First head down here, and there's going to be a key we need to grab. Remember, uh, remember, guys, you've got that herb mix if you need to use it. Yeah, grab this uh, key here. Remember, this is exactly how we're going to do it on hard. So, um, I know you've got the Magnum, but this is exactly how we're going to do it on hard, guys. Once you've got that elevator key, come down here. And then interact the elevator. Interact the button next to it. Yeah, you need to use the key on this. There we go. Use the elevator key on the elevator. Right, it's bossing to it's pretty straightforward. Aim at him. When he attacks, you need to run around him on his left side. So just shoot him when you get a chance. When he's about to attack, run around him on his left side, like so. The side of his weak arm. There we go, when he's about to lunge. If you want to save time, reload on your inventory screen. There we go. Keep doing this, pretty straightforward. That's it guys, very straightforward fight. This is on normal. We what uh, what did we use there? About what is it about 40 bullets we used, 40 handgun bullets, so yeah, not too difficult. Once he's down, enter the elevator and we want to go to level 2. So interact the buttons, you want to go to level 2. Once you're on level 2, exit. Right, it's going to be one hunter in here, but we're going to try and be fast and avoid it. So grab this magnum ammo first. Come over here, grab that handgun ammo. And just run straight down. He might catch you. Oh, he's caught me a few times. It's 
two herbs there, um, but you can come back in. Um, so I've just healed. I think I'm going to get hit again here. Doors now, I'm not. There we go. So um, I did heal because I got a few hits in, and I picked up that green and red herb and I combined them. Now we're back in here. Now you remember this room, the cable car room. You know, grab your magnum. So grab the magnum. Uh, right. So we're running out of space now. You can come back in here later on. Um, but whenever you do, you're, you're always going, going to have to run past that hunter. So drop the magnum ammo. You're going to have to drop the herb. If you're low in health, use it. Um, but just remember, you can come back for that later on. You want to grab these three items. Yeah, I know. Item management here is a bloody pain in the ass. You can kill a hunter if you want to, but really you want to try and save your bullets. But worst case scenario, guys, if you do have to come back here, you may you may just want to quickly kill a hunter for some mag a few magnum bullets. But once you've got all them, um, we're going to head back past the hunter now. Well, where am I going? See, I may as well just go back and heal now. What's my health like? Uh, I've only left 20 bullets now, no point coming back for 20 bullets. Just got room, get past that hunter. Hopefully he's not going to get too much damage on me. We, uh, we're going to level 4 now. So intro of the button and level four. <laughs> now I just need to make you aware of something very important now guys. Um throughout this area, um it's not in every room, but it's in some room some rooms there's a chance a large frog might leap out of the water. If this happens, um if you're near a ladder, if you're very near a ladder or a door, then you can quickly just um exit or climb a ladder. But if you're in the sort of middle of a room and there's no um, exit next to you, um, just stay still. Stay still, let the frog attack you, at which point it will jump back in the water. Never try and run away from the frog, because when you run away, it will it will um, grab you with its tongue and it will instant kill you. So if a frog jumps out of the water, just stay still and wait for it to get uh, wait for it to jump back in. Um, all right, guys, we're on level four. And sorry, one other thing, we need to make sure we keep 115 handgun bullets for a boss later on. So you need to keep 115 handgun bullets. I have, I've got quite a lot, 217, probably going to get more soon. Um, so if you do get close to 115, just stop using your handgun and use your shotgun or something else. You need to keep 115 handgun bullets very important for a boss right at the end of the game. So, through this door, into the monitor room. Come around here. 
No, you can grab that handgun ammo if you have space. You probably don't have space for it. Uh, no, I don't. So I'm not going to collect it. Um, but you do want to collect that ink ribbon and you do want to save your game. So I'm just going to have to drop something here. But first we'll just do this puzzle. So there's a little puzzle here on the wall that we need to do. So you just want to press them in this order, guys, that I'm going to. So first um, you want to press this dot here. Press that with X. There we go. And then we want to press this red dot here, guys. So that one there. And then we want to press this dot here, guys. This one here. That's it. That's how you do that puzzle quickly. Yeah, one, now power's been, rest uh, been restored. Just going to drop something now, pick up that ribbon, we're going to save the game. Record your data. So now you've saved guys, drop your ink ribbon, pick up the ma uh, pick. what if you dropped, pick it back up. So drop the ink ribbon. Yeah, pick up a magnum ammo, that's what I dropped. And now we're going to use a small lift here. Now down here is going to be three zombies. We won't be coming back in this room, but there is some um, there is some healing items at the end of it you may want to use. And the camera angles are a bit awkward. Are a bit awkward here. But if you lure these towards the lift, now the zombies they can't for some strange reason they can't actually a attack you on the lift. You see there they're just getting stuck. I'm not sure why it's weird, it's similar to the cockroaches, why cockroaches can't go near stairs. But what you can do here, you can just let them get near you, wait for all three of them to come. There's still one more coming, where is he? Um, but knock him. I don't know where the third one is, but I'm going to knock him down, he shouldn't be far. Just knock these down. Once you knock them all down, you can quickly run past. Or not. And then it gives it just gives you a minute to um grab these herbs, drop your items, grab the herb, heal. You have to be quick though. Use combine. Heal, that's it, full health now. Then pick up your items back up that you dropped quickly for them zombies reach you. Yeah, there we go. Reload my gun ready. Yeah, we're good to go. Exit the room. Now it's gonna be Mimicry zombie here guys, but if you just be quick and run, um hopefully you won't take any damage. There it is. Uh, that that door there that we just passed by, that one there, we will be entering that later on. So just remember that door. We will have to run straight to that door later on and enter it. Right, that, there's only one zombie there. You can just avoid it. Uh, grab this map off the wall. Just let a zombie come near you. And then go around the opposite side. And you want to go down. There should be some steps you need to go down. Yeah, go down these steps here. There's, there's a fort lift. There's some healing items. Take a note of them. Um, well, to be honest, you want to mix these. So take them. I oh, know bloody space. Be 
because you may need these later but you may not be Rebecca you may have Billy here so um just pick these up mix them and then drop them back down that's it mix it so it's ready for Billy if he needs it later as well and once they're mixed drop them back down leave uh, pick up whatever you drop pick it back up so in this case that grenade ammo then enter the store once in here you should see some shotgun ammo there it is grab that and head through this door just remember that frog guys that I mentioned if a friendly frogs jump out just stay still take a hit from the frog at which point it should jump back in the water don't don't run away from them hey we're back together so once you're back with Billy you just want to head uh, not that door you want to head to this far door here with the um, sort of quarantine um, image on it and you want to drop everything apart from the shotgun handgun and the ammo flame weapons so magnum drop um, magnum ammo drop we we'll give that to Billy because I've already got some around that's it that's it yep drop grenade launcher drop all the ammo for it so all you, all you should have left is a shotgun and the custom handgun and the ammo for it now once you've done that head for this door so it's a team head for this door it's a team And head up here. Right, it's a little there's a little puzzle in this room. Uh, so once to make sure Rebecca's not got that handgun equipped, make sure you unequip that. Um bring Rebecca up here, leave her there, go go um you stay here. solo yeah. and switch to Billy and um, bring him down this ladder. Once you're down this ladder, climb over the crates so you're left of the grey one. Push the grey one all the way right to that wall on the, the east wall. Then climb up on then climb up onto the crates. Now switch to Rebecca, interact the controls and um, select rotate right. So rotate right. And switch back to Billy. Climb down off a crate. And this this crate near the left wall. You know, push that all the way south. Well, it's near the west wall. Push that all the way south. Yeah, once you've done that. Climb over this grey crate. Come on, Billy. You, now, now you want to push out all the way to the north wall. Just push out all the way to the northern wall. Climb over it. And climb down so you're behind, this, uh, behind the wooden crate looking. Now switch to Rebecca. You want to interact the controls again and select rotate, rotate right. So we take right. Switch back to Billy. Push this all the way to the gate. All the way to the gate and then push it right. That's it. Once you've got it against the wall, go behind it. Switch to Rebecca and then choose to rotate right once more.
once you've done that switch back to Billy and then push the crate down to the south wall to fill in that last remaining gap near the other two crates so switch back to Billy and now push this all the way south and that's it there are all three wooden crates in the right spot so now climb back up the ladder switch to Rebecca and have her activate the controls so she wants to fill now, fill the pull, choose fill that should raise the uh, boxes and they allow you to pass once you've done that head over here and grab the um, grab the valve handle as Billy Make make sure you're a team. Come on. Come on. Okay. Come on, Becca, and then head through this north door. Right, um so once you're here, switch to Billy. Make sure he's only got the handgun. He just wants the handgun equipped and the handgun ammo. That's all he wants. Rebecca can have the rest. So he wants a valve handle, the handgun and the handgun ammo. Make sure he's got it equipped. Yeah, there we go. Make sure you're solo. I'll go alone. Okay. Yeah, leave Rebecca there. And then head up the steps into the bar area. Now, remember that zombie here. We're just going to try and... Uh, Run around the opposite side to a zombie to avoid it, and then enter this door. Now remember that Mimicry zombie is here guys, so we need to be fast. Uh, straight away, you want to run to that, this door here. Run to this door that doesn't have a handle, use the valve handle on it, and then you can enter. And quickly enter that door. Right, straight away head down here and then kill these two zombies down here. Just kill them. Once they're dead, quickly kill these. If you quick, they shouldn't get too close. You don't run too far down here where I'm running now because there's a zombie on the floor that will grab you and we want to try and avoid the damage right there's five in total I think that's all of them yeah see I'm aiming on the one on the floor that's one I'm actually aiming at yeah, there's a zombie just down there There's a handgun ammo down there, so you want to head down, grab a handgun ammo, but just make sure you hook, hook this bit on the left here, so you avoid that zombie in green just behind me. And you should avoid him, and he shouldn't grab you. You won't have to waste ammo on it. So once all five are dead, now you want to switch back to Rebecca. Basically, we're going to bring Rebecca in here now. She, no need for her to use any ammo, just try and avoid the enemies the best you can. All you need to do is avoid the zombie up here, which is very simple, and that Mimi cry zombie. Um, so where's he got to? Um, I hope I'm not going to run into him. No. So into this door here. Quickly win, quickly. Yeah, yeah, I did it. Quickly into that room. Now as for Rebecca, you want to climb this ladder, climb up the ladder here. Now there's one zombie up here, and um, just avoid it by running around the opposite way. There's two herbs as well, 
So we'll grab the two herbs, combine them, just in case you might you may need them later. Yeah, so grab these two, combine them. There's a file just there in the corner, you can see that. Now, there's a red tank here. Um, whatever you've got, if you've got a stripping agent, you need to get rid of that, by the way. So, um, interrupt this red tank and put it in the mixing set. So if you make a green chemical, just use that. Use a green chemical. Because all you want in the mix set, you just want a plain red chemical. That's all you want. So there we go. Just put in the mixing set. I've just got red chemical. That's all you want in your mixing set. If you don't have that, make sure you put that in. So that's all you have. And once done, just back down the ladder now, guys. Back down the ladder. Now, this bit, we're going to do it one at a time. Bring Billy over. There's going to be two hunters here. So make sure you're solo. Otherwise, the other one's going to get hit. What we're going to do, we're just going to run straight through the hunters in between them. In between them and straight to the door opposite. That's it, just in between them. I seem to have more better um, better look when I run in between them rather than try and run around the outside. Once you've got through, switch to Rebecca. We basically, want, we want to bring her in as well now. Switch to Rebecca, do exactly the same. Hopefully she don't take any damage either. Oh, she has. She's take, oh, she's taking a few hits. Probably best bringing um, Billy uh, Rebecca through first, to be honest, because she takes more damage than everyone else, and the first run through that bit is the safest. So we've got Rebecca through. We we'll use that just to fill her health. What's the handgun ammo like? Grab his handgun ammo. It's Billy. Grab that. Grab this, um, grab this file on the bed here. You can just see. Well, I'm, I'm trying to grab it. I'm trying. Yeah, grab that about battery fluid. Change to Rebecca. Combine the green and the red herb so they're ready for later. Combine them. Now make sure you've got the napalm rounds, there's some napalm rounds here on the floor, grab them. That's it now, depending on what you have in your inventory at the moment, how many space we have, how much space. Grab all the healing items, make sure you've got them all. So first aid spray. And grab that ink ribbon and we're safe for game. Once you've saved, drop the ink ribbon. Drop that. Then head through this door. That's a team. I forgot Rebecca. 
head through that door as a team. Yeah, make sure your team guys head down these steps and uh, enter the store at the end. Now the fog can jump out here. It's random, it's random. If it does jump out, remember just stand still, let it attack you, at which point it will jump back in. Don't do too much damage on this difficulty anyway. Now once you get into this room, you want to head down here and stand on the lift. Just like before, some zombies will come to you but they will not attack. Now once zombies come to you, you can kill them. Naked zombies. There's three of them. Take it in turns to sit down. <laughs> I think that's it. Uh, no one is. Yep, yeah, they're all dead. So once you've got them all, there's a file in here we want to get. Yeah, there's a file, and there's a shotgun ammo. So have Rebecca grab a shotgun shells. She's already got a stack on her anyway. Grab a file. Try and grab it. Come on. Now it's going to be a little boss fight again now guys. So switch to Billy. Make sure he's just got the, the handgun ammo and a healing item. Just in case you need it. Yeah, Make sure he's got a healing item and the handgun and the handgun ammo. Leave Rebecca here. I'll go alone. I'll go what? alone, Rebecca. Leave her there and head down this little lift now. Head down the lift. Now, um, you're going to have to fight that tyrant again. That very simple one. And you, you're you going to evade it just the same as before, but it's just a bit more. You're in a bit of a tighter space now, that's all. A bit more. The space is more narrow. Just make sure you're in a camera angle where you can sort of see him from a distance. Okay? Run past him on his left and shoot him, just like before, on his weak side. Yeah, so if you actually try and run away from him, he'll normally catch you. That's when he's trying to run past. I've got stuck now. Right. Alright, it took me a moment to get into the um, rhythm, guys, but I think I've got it now. Or not. That's it guys, we've got him again. Pretty simple stuff. Um, I'll use a healing item. Yeah, once he's down, um, head to the far end. Flick the switch. Yeah, press this button here. Remember we need to keep 115 handgun bullets for the last boss. Uh, let's just see how much I've got left at the moment. 
Uh, I've got two, what, about 220, what's that, 226? Yeah, still got 100 bullets left that I can use. There's not really much more to do now, guys, before we reach the end. So once you're here, there's going to be a little motherboard we need to collect. There it is. Grab this. We'll try and grab it. Yeah, there we go. Grab the motherboard. And head down the ladder. Basically, we're heading back to Rebecca now. No, wrong door. Wrong door, Billy. You need to go back on the elevator. Yeah, we'll be coming we'll be coming out here later. Yeah, on the elevator. Right, head over to gon gondola, gondola, whatever it's called. We need some motherboard on this. Now make sure Billy's make sure Billy's got handgun ammo again. Just check your inventory. Um, Billy wants two free slots at least, and um, we'll we'll give um, Rebecca one. You want two free slots each at least, so um, we'll give him the napalm ammo. There we go, we've both got three slots each. And Rebecca's going to enter here. She has to enter by herself, by the way, so you have to go in solo. Once Rebecca leaves, grab the acid rounds in the far corner. Should be down here. There we go. And then interact with this monitor to open the floodgates. That's it. Once you've operated the floodgates, switch back to Billy. And then let's Billy head down the little lift again. Little lift. Head down there. Now head through this door. Down here after us, grab the two green herbs. You won't be coming back here, so grab these two. Now, when we climb down here, frog's gonna jump out. We're gonna climb back up the ladder to avoid it. There it is, quickly climb back up the ladder. If you try and run from that frog, it will kill you, it doesn't kill you. If it jumps back out, just stand still. Unless you're very close to a ladder and you can get to the ladder in time before it turns and faces you. Um, enter this door. Now there's two zombies near we need to kill. Um, some handgun ammo we can collect, so grab that. There's two zombies just over here. Be careful you don't run into them when the angle changes. Kill these two, kill them. But once, yeah, they're both dead. Now leave the shotgun ammo there. We'll be coming back here later. Leave the shotgun ammo and drop the napalm rounds and drop the two green herbs. Drop them, drop them. All you want to do is keep the handgun and the handgun ammo.
through here, through here. He wants to enter this door here. Now it's unlocked. Now once you're in here, you're going to climb the stairs at the end. Come in, head up the steps. Now some cockroaches in here, you're safe. They won't attack you here just like stupid zombies won't come near a lift, these won't come near steps. So just kill it here in safety. It's only one. Once you've done that, switch to Rebecca. And bring it in the only there's only one door here. Bring it in this door. Now we're back together. Grab this um, acid rounds as Rebecca. Um, interrupt this blue chemical. Put in the mixing set, which will make the sulfuric acid. The red and blue makes sulfuric acid. There we go. Uh, pick up this industrial water on the corner here next to the monitor. And basically, you want to combine that with the sulfuric acid. And what that makes, that makes the battery fluids. Once you've done that as a team, switch to Billy. Make sure Rebecca's not got the shotgun equipped and make sure she's set to idle as well. She don't want her to waste any ammo. So make sure she's on idle. Make sure you're Billy and he's got a handgun equipped. And head down these stairs as a team. Let's regroup. Yeah, let's regroup. Head down the stairs as a team. Now, give Rebecca a boost up to grab that battery on the top shelf. Once you've done that, quickly head back to the steps because some cockroaches are going to appear. Quickly head back to the steps. There we go, so they can't attack you. Stay there and then just kill them both. So it once they're both dead, Let's split up. make sure okay. you're a team, this so one. regroup okay. and head back up the steps. Once you've done that, you want to drop the shotgun, uh, drop the shotgun and shotgun ammo. So leave 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 the first aid spray and leave the acid rounds as well all you want is the handgun handgun ammo and the battery Once you've done that, you want to head through this north door here. I'll go. Okay. This way. That's a team. Okay. Yeah, the door is now unlocked. Grab, head through here. Now you want to grab everything here that you dropped before. So yeah, grab it all. Quite a lot to drop. Uh, sorry, quite a lot to pick up. Now, Rebecca, you've still got space, my duck. She's still got space. Grab that grenade launcher. And Billy can grab the uh, magnum ammo.
Almost done here, guys. Almost done. Once you've got all that, head through this door. Now, the frog might jump out here if it doesn't just stand still. So it jumps back in. Head through this door here. Back over here. Now if you have space, someone has space, grab that healing item, Billy has. Head through here, uh, you want to put the battery in the forklift, so use the battery. Um, first you want to combine the battery fluid with it, to, that will make the high power battery, then use that on the forklift. Don't press the lift button yet. Instead, put Rebecca. Control Rebecca. Make sure you're not you're solo. You stay here. So you want to be solo. Then place Rebecca on the crate. Then switch to Billy. Leave Rebecca on the crate. Then ask Billy operate the fort lift. Just interact with the side where the battery is and press the lift button. Uh, take that with Rebecca. Now don't take her off. Do not take her off. Leave her on the crate. Switch back to Billy. Because what happens when she gets off. When she gets off that crate. It triggers a frog to appear. So leave her on there. Head over to this door. Once you're at the door. Uh, call Rebecca back as a team. Come on. Roger. Yeah then head through the door. That way you um, avoid the frog jumping in. So once you're here, um, go make around. sure you're solo. We're going to leave Rebecca here. Just check your inventory. Make sure Rebecca's got the key card. Yeah, make sure she's got the key card. Um, Billy, put a grenade launcher on Billy. Give him that just to fill up his space. Because he won't be collecting anything now, by the way. He's just heading back to the safe room to save the game. So that's it. Make sure Billy's got a handgun. He wants a handgun and handgun ammo. Then fill up this inventory with whatever else there is. But make sure Rebecca's got the key cards. Then make sure you're Billy and head, head back through his door solo. Head up the steps. I'm trying. Try and head up the steps if you can, if you have the skill. There's two zombies near now. You may have to knock one down. The naked zombies. Now quickly run to that door with a valve on it. Quickly get through there. Hopefully avoid the mimic cry. Yes, avoided it again. Sweet. Basically, we're just heading back to the safe room now as Billy. Try and avoid these if you can. If you can't, just knock them down. If you can avoid it, avoid them, great. You'll save a little bit of ammo. Right, once you're here. So how much ammo has Billy got? Billy's got a he's got almost 200 handgun bullets. So we've got we've got plenty of handgun ammo. And once you're here, you want to switch back to Rebecca. Once you're Rebecca, head through here.
Head through here. Then head back through here. So um, we need to basically we need to pick up all these items now, basically. Um, but we don't have much, we don't really have much space. Um, so I can pick up the acid rounds. I can pick them up. I've got space for them because I've already got a stack. Um, we'll grab the shotgun and then we'll come back for the shells and the first aid spray. I pick pick the wrong one. All right, so be back in a second for that. Come down these steps. We're about to go to the last boss, guys. Probably about ten minutes left. Ten fifteen minutes left. Don't worry, it's it's. You probably think this took a long time. It's only normal, and it's only the first playthrough and the hard playthrough that will take you a while. The rest are going to be pretty quick, so you're going to be using bonus weapons. And because you're using bonus weapons, you won't have to drop any ammo, so it'll be a lot quicker. Right, so you want to use a key card on this door to unlock it. Use a key card on this door. Throw it away, yep. Yeah. Just pick up one more thing to fill up that slot that the key card made when you discarded it. Right, enter this door now. Now, basically, all we're doing now, guys, we're just going to um, be running back and getting all that stuff and bring it back into this room. So, run down to this door. There's a magnum ammo there. But we'll, be get, we'll get that later. So, drop everything. Drop everything. Leave. Leave. Leave, 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 and leave. Yeah, drop it all. And we'll head back up, grab a shotgun, and then hopefully we've got enough space to grab the other stuff. But I'll mix these two green herbs. So I'm going to mix them two green herbs. Grab them shells. I just need to head back and grab a shotgun now. Don't worry, I know Billy's Billy is quite far away, but what happens when you start the boss fight, um Billy teleports you automatically. He's he's just he's with you. So um this is a good way, you leave him in that save room, then you can save right before the boss. So if you do need to retry, it's very quick to retry, rather than having to keep uh, make your way all the way down here every time. So I just want that shotgun. There we go. Now, um, there's two boss fights here. The first one, we're going to kill it only with the handgun. We're not going to use nothing else, only the handgun. Um, this is exactly the same way we'll kill it on hard. Otherwise, it just it drains too much ammo, and you do have a lot, quite a lot of handgun ammo left, as you see. Then we'll use the we'll use all the other ammo on the um, very last boss. Yeah, on hard you'll have a bit less on hard, but um, you should be able to make it last. So all we're going to do now, we're just going to get our loadout ready before we head before we head into the boss. Um, so all you really need is you want the handgun and the handgun ammo, but or, um, of course Billy's got that. 
um, if you don't have much ammo, I mean I've got plenty of handgun ammo, but if you only if you have very close to 120, um, uh, take the shotgun and the shotgun shells um, with Rebecca so she can use them on the boss. But you shouldn't you shouldn't need to use them anyway. Um, so just make sure you got the handgun, handgun ammo, um, possibly a shotgun and shotgun shells if you're worried about running out of ammo, and then some healing items to heal for the boss. Yeah, I bloody hate this inventory system. It's getting on my wick, getting on my nerves again. What you have to do during this fight, you'll basically be controlling Rebecca, um, and Billy will be just the AI will be controlling Billy. Um, but you have to keep an eye on Billy's health, so you have to um, just open your inventory from time to time, just check his health and heal him if you th if it's necessary. If he's in danger, you'll need to heal him. So once you're ready, um, like I say, you just want the handgun, handgun ammo and some uh, healing items. Switch to Billy, dro um, drop something so you can, you've can. got space to ink ribbon, then pick up the ink ribbon and uh, save your game. Right, once you've saved, very important, make sure you drop that ink ribbon and pick back up whatever it, whatever it is you dropped. Because once you enter that boss room, Billy's going to get uh, whisked away from here and you'll lose that them items that you left on the floor. We're not losing, but you'd have to come all the way back to get them back. So drop the ink ribbon, uh, after saving, pick back up whatever you dropped in order to pick up the ink ribbon. And once ready, switch back to Rebecca and enter the boss room. The big cutscene, Billy will walk back here automatically. Now as soon as you gain control, as soon as you gain control, open your inventory to pause the game for a second. And what you want to do, um, Rebecca wants a pistol and a pistol ammo. Rebecca wants that, all of it. Um, Billy, Billy wants to be solo and you want to make sure he's on idle. So solo, idle. Make sure you're both on solo and idle. And Rebecca wants a handgun and a handgun bullets. Make sure Billy's got a healing item, and just in case he needs to heal. And you don't, you won't have to be close. Then you can just switch to him on the inventory screen, heal him, and then switch back. So Rebecca wants handgun, handgun ammo. Then you're good to go. Billy on idle and solo. Now, once you're ready, um, run away. It's Rebecca. You need to get as far away as possible, and. Basically, you always want to be behind. Billy wants to be nearer to the boss than what you are. He wants to be closer to the boss. Um, if he ever runs, runs towards you, and um, run ahead so Billy always stays closer. And what will happen, the boss will always go after Billy. And then what you'll be doing, you'll just be shooting the boss from a distance. And what you'll be doing, um, only shoot the boss when it's directly in line with you. Um, try not to shoot... Um, where we're running now, there's sort of two walkways, two structures in the middle, and there's two walkways that long, run alongside it either side, and then you can run along it in the middle as well. You just want to kill it down each each of these two lanes. You, what you'll do, you'll fire three shots, and once you fire three shots, you'll you'll um, aim, you'll turn your aim to the side, and then try and re-aim. Then if when you re-aim, if you aim back and your face is straight ahead, then the boss is still in line. You can shoot him, as you see I'm doing here. See, I, I move the aim off, then I try and I press L1 to try and lock on again. And if I don't lock on straight ahead, then the boss obviously is not in line, so I have to move. So there we go, three shots. Aim off, try and auto aim. There he is, he's still there. Three shots. I have to reload. 
So just keep changing sides like this. Aim off, then try and auto aim. Now it sounds like Billy's being attacked. Oh, it's been grabbed. If Billy starts crying like a little bitch, um, yeah, run, you have to go and save him. You have to keep shooting the boss to save, make him drop Billy. And remember, uh, keep an eye on Billy's health. Now, normally, Billy will, a lot of the time, Billy won't get hit at all by the boss. I think he's just, somehow he's run into a little corner there and the boss has caught him. Three shots at a time, um, turn and then try and auto aim. If it's still in line, shoot three shots again. The reason you're only doing three at a time is because you only can get about three in before the boss sort of moves out of the way of where you've auto aimed. That's why you need to readjust after all three shots to make your, to make your bullets count. You can't actually see what you're hitting, so some of them probably do miss, but 115 is normally enough. I got a trophy there. I think Billy has grabbed. Yeah, and I knocked the boss down. See, there we are. You need to keep an eye on Billy's health. Just listen out to make it when he makes a noise. Now, it sounds like the boss is dead there. No, it's still going. Damn, he stayed there, <laughs> stayed there for a while then. You just see Billy there on the left of the screen. This, strat this strategy will come in very useful for hard. Um, so if you do find this a bit awkward, you may just want to reload that safe. And then um, just retry, just so you can sort of mass, um, not master it, but just get a good, get a good, um, get a good feeling of the strategy, so it's not too difficult for you to do. I know it, it's it's not a very specific strategy because you you can never really see what what uh, what you're hitting, can you? You can never really see what what you are hitting. But every time I do it like this, I always I always kill him. It takes about 115 bullets. And we'll see in a minute. Um, I had, what, 196 bullets, I think? 196. Um, I've oh, I just killed him. Let's uh, see how many I've got left. Um, so I had 196, and I have uh, 73 left. 73 left. Yeah, so I've used, I've used about 120 bullets, guys. So yeah, that's, do it that way. It normally takes about 120 bullets. Yeah, you now need to pick up these keys. You need one each. We'll go outside in a minute and pick up all that gear that we left. We want one of these keys each. You can drop the key, you can drop the um, handgun now and the handgun ammo. You don't need that anymore. We won't be using that for the next boss. So drop the handgun and the handgun ammo. Okay. Yeah, get over here, Billy. Yeah, you just want one key each. So um, just shift your inventory around a little bit if you need to. Yeah, once you've both got a key each. And um, head over to this door. Um, make sure you're solo. One of you, one of you will use your key 
on uh, one console, then while you're while that that character say you snare key, get the other person to use their key as well, and I'll unlock the door. Yeah, make sure you stood in the, stood in the right place. Right, now we can head back and just grab all that gear, grab all that gear that we dropped. I'll just head back out and grab all that gear. Yeah, Prentice of Unlocking. You get that for um, unlocking every door. Every door that's locked, you get that trophy. So you should be able to fit all this in. Now you've dropped the handgun and the handgun ammo. Um, you've used one or two healing items. You should have enough space to um, grab all this gear. We've got loads and loads of ammo left, haven't we? Yeah, we can um, combine them napalm rounds with the grenade launcher because, there we go, we already had some napalm in there. We've got tons and tons of ammo. Yeah, there's some magnum ammo in the corner. You should probably saw that. So grab the rest. You'll find all we'll probably use in this boss fight is um Shotgun and the Magnum. I like us to bring everything because on hard you're going to need or you're probably going to need all this ammo. Not all of it, but um, it's always best to have more than you need because I've no idea how you guys are going to fare um, doing this. So um, if I if I make sure you've got as much as you can have at this point, then if you do <laughs> do worse than what I do. Um, then you you should have you should be covered basically. And there's some magnum ammo down in the corner here. You probably saw it when you were killing the boss. And um, there it is at the bottom of the screen. Can you see it flashing? That little cube. Right, I'm trying to pick it up. You know, it's so awkward to pick us pick something up in this game. All right, so now we can head into that um, room we unlocked and um, save the game. We'll Get our loadout ready, make a save, then head up to the last boss. So it's handgun ammo, we don't need that, but we can get everything else. The shotgun shell is there, some grenade launcher ammo. Um, the green and red herb, we can get Rebecca to combine. And two first aid sprays. All we're going to do here, we're going to pick up all the ammo we can. Obviously we don't want the handgun ammo. Um, but we'll get all the ammo, and then Rebecca will combine the green and the red herb. Um, we'll make sure everybody's filled up with ammo and um, ammo and healing items, and we'll save. Um, Weapon-wise, um, all Rebecca needs. Rebecca wants a shotgun and a shotgun shells. Um, you'll probably have to put some of the grenade launcher ammo on her as well. Um, but just make sure Billy's got the grenade grenade launcher with the napalm rounds inside, and he's got the magnum and the magnum ammo. And then that will only leave one one slot free for Billy, and um, then you can just give him probably um, a healing item of that extra slot, and give the rest of the ammo to um, Rebecca. So just to um, summarise that that loadout, Billy wants a grenade launcher with a napalm right inside. He wants a magnum and a magnum ammo, and make sure he's got a healing item. Um, you can leave some uh, the grenade. You can well you can leave the acid rounds on him as well. And Rebecca, she wants a shotgun, um, shotgun ammo and um, just fill that inventory up with healing items and of course um, the grenade the grenade standard grenade ammo uh, from Billy and then save your game if you need to um, drop something to pick up the ink ribbons save your game uh, then drop the ink ribbons afterwards and then pick up whatever it is you dropped and once you're ready um, head out onto the lift and we'll head up to the last boss now um, the last boss, um, the first part of it, 
you can both attack um, and then the second part and Rebecca Rebecca's you can't control Rebecca for the second part basically computers controlling her she runs around to them um, four them um, four valves that she has to um, operate to release um, the catches on the hangar door and basically while she's doing that you've got to keep the boss away from her because the boss can damage her but you can't control her so um, make sure she don't need healing you can't actually kill the boss with your ammo um, the boss actually dies from Rebecca turning um, operating all the machines so what you'll need to do, um, when when you're Billy, and when it, when it's the second part of the boss fight, and um, Rebecca's doing her thing, ask Billy. Um, you just need to get the boss's attention. Then once it's coming after you, um, you don't need to waste any more ammo. Just attack the boss to get it after you. Then once it's coming for you, um, just try and evade its attacks. Um, after after Rebecca's done each uh, valve or seal, whatever whatever it is she's doing, um, once Rebecca's done each one, and um, the boss will go for her again. So it'll be three or four times, and um, you have to shoot the boss, get his attention. Um, once, once you have got a boss's attention, if you keep near its back, well, where its it don't have back legs, but where its back legs would be, if you stay sort of there, um, it will cause the boss to just keep spinning around. If you're too close to its tail, it will tail whip you. And if you're too close to its hands, its arms, it will um, hit you with its arms. So you, the sweet spot is just near where its feet would be if it had feet. So to begin, um, you want to make sure you're Rebecca. Make sure Billy's got a Magnum equipped and he's on attack. So um, you'd have to go into inventory and change Billy to attack and make sure you're a team. And then let Billy tap the Magnum while you, while you ask Rebecca, just try and dodge and uh, shoot with your shotgun. Try not to stay directly in, in front of him because he, he'll do that lunge attack which he keeps catching me with and it's bloody annoying because when you are in line you don't really get a chance to get out of the way as it just keeps shooting the boss that's it, it won't take, it won't take much damage that's it, that's the first part done now the second part you're going to lose control of Rebecca when you when you first lose control, just make sure Rebecca's first open your inventory, make sure Rebecca's healed. Um, take a healing item off Rebecca and give it to Billy um, if you haven't got one, just in case you need it. Make sure Billy's got a Magnum equipped. Yeah, make sure he's got a healing item. That's it, make sure he's got a Magnum equipped. Now you need to get the boss's attention to get it away from Rebecca. So go behind the boss and then shoot it if you Magnum until it starts coming from you, for you. You know when it starts coming for you because it will sort of stand up on its on its tail like that. And that will indicate it's sort of changing target. Once it comes after you, don't attack, don't waste ammo. Um, but if, Rebe if Rebecca goes close to it, um, it might go for Rebecca again. And then, um, but if it does, just shoot it again so it comes for you. Once it, like I say, once it's coming for you, there's no need to attack. But try and stay near where its legs would be, because then it will just keep spinning, and it will not attack you. Well, it won't be able to attack you, so it will just be, it will just keep spinning around like this. That's it. Once Rebecca's done a valve, it's, it'll, it, it will um, change target again and go for Rebecca. There it goes, going for Rebecca again. So now shoot it. Bloody hate that attack. Uh, like this, stay stay near where its back legs would be, and it will just keep spinning around like so. The problem with this fight is the camera angle is quite bad. It's hard to find a good angle where you've got plenty of space to him, see where you are when you're moving around it. So it's going for Rebecca again, get his attention. Ow, tail whipped me. It's going after Rebecca. Quickly, quickly get its attention. Now that's the last valve for Rebecca. Uh, 
Come on, Billy. Keeping on Billy's health. He's um, holding his stomach, so I think he's a bit he's a little bit wounded. Yeah, oh, oh, I'm in danger. Damn. And that's it guys, that's the um that's it. Boss, normal motor done. That's exactly how we are going to be playing on hard. So when hard does come along, um hopefully it'll be a little bit easier for you because you know exactly the route we're going to take now. And um you'll be a little bit used to it. You'll be a little bit used to it. Um next after this we'll be doing Leech Hunter. Um, I've actually got leech hunter parts up already, so um, just follow them too. There's two leech hunter parts. Basically, you need to do one where you collect every leech and kill all of the enemies, and there's, you'll, you'll do another run through. But in that one, you just um, you just collect 50 leech charms. But when but doing the leech hunter, you will unlock a lot of bonus weapons. You will unlock infinity ammo. Um, so your next actual proper playthrough of the campaign you have bonus weapons to use in infinite ammo. Um, so that's good. Um, very, very good. We haven't got to do all that again until hard, of course. But um, we'll also do a Wesker mode playthrough as well. And that's quite fun because um, he's got different abilities. He's, he's actually got abilities. So that's quite fun as well. So yeah, um, there I am. 4 hours 30. Damn it. This game does take a long time to get through. Bloody long time to get through. Just because there's no <laughs> no item box, um, right? So yeah, that's it, guys. Um, make sure you do save your game after. So you've just completed. Keep going through those menus, and then then you'll get asked to save your game. Make a clear file, and try not to never save over that file. So if you did get ever get into any problems, um, you've always got that file to fall back on. Because if you if you accidentally overwrite a certain file, then um, you may not be able to play Leech until you may have to complete the game again. Um, and this this file we're going to be saving now. That's a file um, that you've basically all your progress map playthrough have just done. That's all going to be saved on that file. So all the weapons you've collected that will be saved in this file. If you lose that file or you don't continue from it, um, you will lose all that progress on you know what weapons you've collected and um, etc. Um, so see, you just unlock Wesker mode. So don't worry about submachine gun. I think you may not get that. I think that's from getting an A rank. I think rocket launchers from S rank. Um, but yeah, but Leech Hunter will give us the uh, power, the the Magnum, the Magnum with infinite ammo. So that'd be really good. Yeah, make a save, a clear data. When you play Leech Hunter, you have to load this clear save. But I'll explain all that on Leech Hunter mode. So yeah, that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next part.